go, and we're back. It's completely different. I had to fucking set up OBS as quick as I could. Anyways, so this is gonna be the second time that I've used OBS before. I'm, I use OBS for recording. I'm streaming with that shit. And I used it one other time to play Enter the Gungeon on YouTube. That's why I had to find a stream key, because I was like, where the fuck is it? There's a something in the... It's gotta be... Yeah, fuck, yeah. I don't remember how to do this. Anyways, um, please inform me if anything else goes wrong, so that way we know. I will have chat open to my left, but yeah. Anyways, it's also smaller than our last house. <laughs> Cozier, one might argue. Good spin! Hey. I think it's great. We won't be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to. I don't have to won't we not, waste not gas. <laughs> and I mean, trying to park downtown is, you know. We don't do that shit. Well, there's nothing downtown for us, but I guess the mission. We parked one time really well. And fuck that place. We, we ne we're never going back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fuck escape rooms. <laughs> Amanda, you know you're gonna have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Mm -hmm. Not gonna happen, Pops. Yeah, by, by then we'll have self-driving cars like we do now. But I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Oh. I don't know joke? how to do that either. Is that, is that a dad joke? Yeah. That's well, just, that no, that's, that's a parking dad. joke. It's a shitty parking joke. Have you met the neighbors yet? No. Not I've yet. Fun. But the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. Mm -hmm. Shit. So you won't have to chase down any rowdy teens off your lawn? I mean... You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Ah. I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're a real... Huh. Don't you dare. Senior. Senior. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna ignore that. Ah. But I won't forget it. So what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we need to forge a path to the solid wall of boxes that's blocking the living room. I still have to install the walker in the dryer. We need to go mm. grocery shopping. Pops, fill your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, the okay. Neighbors? You're, You're right. Neighbors, right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. My goal is to explore all of the neighbors. Wink, wink. We pull up to the new house, step outside, the lawn is freshly mowed, and a for sale sign is still in the yard. <laughs> Yeah! The fuck? And with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Why are you so damn destructive? Nice form, sweet pea. I got a problem with authority! Oh, uh, what? I'm so proud. Ah. Man, all that karate chopping tucker me out. I could really go for a sandwich. What kind an of ice sandwich? cream sandwich? <laughs> Sweetie. It's 10 a.m. So? Alright, alright. Malik, what are we doing? What are we doing first, Oh, okay. Malik? So the choices are we need to unpack first, I need some coffee ASAP, or did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? I need some coffee Alright, we, we get to meet Black Dad. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of old bean juice, or I'm gonna be useless all day. Bean juice sounds disgusting. I'm sorry, but that sounds fucking gross. Bean juice, though. I think we passed a coffee shop on the way up here. Leaf juice sounds equally out. as weird. Huh? Leaf juice sounds equally as weird. Let's do it! You can say bookmarks directly to your desktop. Uh, we know that. We use computers. We walk down the street to the coffee spoon. A cute little place on the corner. Yes! Man, this is in such convenient walking distance from our place. Coincidence? I mean, I guess. Hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch where I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch? He's not and wrong. And not have to make awkward eye contact with other people. He's not wrong. At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me and I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table but he is very much within my personal zone. Bad. Sounds like someone I know. And what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you get it and set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there, fill your face, fill your face flush with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight, and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Dad. I'm a dude. Are you just afraid to meet new people? Right? Yes, Amanda! We walk inside. Uh. Hey, it's Black Dad. No, actually his name is. Name's Yo, what up, Lucio? He wishes. 
Inside the coffee shop is incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around in well-worn clothes. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to the little stage. Hey, yeah. Welcome to the Coffee Spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey. Oh, it's a... Uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. I suppose now it's it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. Mm -hmm. right. But people Facts. ask me that question Facts. all the time, and I give them the same answer every time, and now I'm standing here rambling, and I'm pretty sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I talk about it, but man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. Jesus Christ. Mm. So, so what'll it be? Huh. Coffee. I scan the chalkboard menu, and I am immediately overwhelmed. I'll have a... There's Godspeed, you black coffee. Iced Tegan and Sarah, and Chai Ant Word. You pick one. They're all bad, but you pick one. Oh. Iced Tegan and Sarah. Good choice. I don't get it. Oh, it's a pun. Tegan and Sarah are this really awesome Canadian Indian band formed in 1995. They were nominated for a Grammy in 2013 and are known for being masters of not only pop hits but meaningful lyricism. Hey, yeah. No, Malik! I'm doing the thing again. Oh. What you look at me for? Like, I fucking did it. Except Malika looked at me like, why'd you do it? Like, nigga, I'm reading. The fuck? But, uh, coming right up. Mm, he's not wrong. Not and cool for band. you? I'll have a macchiato de Marco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in a small, medium, or biggie smalls? So, a large, medium, or fat? Uh, medium? Wait, is biggie smalls big or medium? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Yeah. Matt sets to making our drinks, and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches. What's his deal? Let the man make his puns. They're cooler bands than you listen to anyway. Damn, why you gotta be so disrespectful? Hey. Hey! Scott was cool once. This couch is actually pretty comfy. Maybe not comfier than our couch, but it's alright. Good lumbar support. You sink right into it. Okay, it's comfier than our couch. Amanda nudges me. <laughs> this place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Hey, whoa, whoa. Chill out. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Come on, what do we say about meeting new people? Fuck that. I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. <laughs> See? We're making progress. Sounds just like someone I know. Matt sets our drinks down. You're talking about me? Maybe. Hey, <laughs> guess what? Fuck new people. I don't know if there's new people in the room, but hopefully Probably. Pro probably. Woo! Long story short, I'm not going to know any of you. Matt sets our drinks down at the table, and I have a sip. The yeah, iced tea glue and Vera is delicious. Ah. Hi. We're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda, and this is my dad. Get the... Oh. <laughs> Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Hey. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Wink. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. Bitch! I'm sure we'll be hearing her a lot. Why, like, why is she so violent? You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Oh. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe, and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of the, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... I made it out vigorously. She knows this game. She just gives the Yeah, food. we need to give that Nana Bread a taste if you want us to do free creative labor. I think that would commensurate with... Uh, commensurate. I've taught her well. We have trained for this day. Commensurate. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyway. Right, yes, that. <laughs> Matt serves us each a piece. Amanda and I happily chow down. I feel like this man is truly this you. This is amazing. Hey. Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Mm. Such a fucking dad. So, any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad pun, dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedys. I don't know bands. You agree? 
Cool. You know, like the punk band. I thought you said you only knew dad band puns. I'm a hard dad. What? Wink! That actually has a nice ring to it. Yo. Hard dad? Hard dad has a nice ring to it. Really? Hey. Yeah. Banana bread Kennedy's strong decision? That's art, baby. Oh. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized it doesn't sound as good coming out of my mouth, and maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. Professional hey. who, though? Oh. Rappers. Enjoy your coffee! Thanks, baby. Hey. See? It sounds good when you say it. Ac across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet for just a moment. Ellipses. I hastily look, look. I hastily look away, hoping he doesn't catch my, me staring. Who is this? That. We finish up our drinks and head out. Oh. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay. Now we're full of caffeine. Where to? All right, Malik. Where are we going? I should get to unpack. We're gonna unpack. All right. I, uh, I got one on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? It's right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone... <laughs> and everyone is too polite to tell you? Probably. Ellipses. Do I smell bad? Do I smell bad, Malik? Yes. Love. Amanda gives me a whiff. You're fine, Bops. Let's go home. I get to work unpacking the various boxes around the living room. A couple hours pass and I get I get a good work done. I get some good work done. The wash and dryer unit is both washing and drying. And we usually wait, walk through the living we actually walk through the living room without tipping over boxes. First visitor already? I walk over the door and open it. Hello! <laughs> a handsome, clean-cut man stands at the door. What the fuck? Brandishing a plate of <clears throat> cookies. Hell. Oh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, where are my manners? My name is Joseph. I'm your next door neighbor. What do you want, Momo? Oh, yes. Hi. I'm Githa. That's what my name is. Hmm. I saw the moving man and thought I'd bring over some cookies. My daughter, Crystal, what the fuck's that say? Christy. Christy, that's way way spelling it. Wanted me to let you know, she baked them herself. Joseph le leans in and whispers. Put between you and me, she just sprinkled chocolate chips in. <laughs> we both share a laugh. Kids, right? Uh -huh. Wow, cookies, huh? So nice to meet you. Joseph's hands her to play the cookies with a smile. Yeah. Lipsies? Ah. Well, thanks for the cookies. More McDonald's. Amanda disappears with the cookies. Mm. Amanda, come back and she's... Oh, okay. That's my daughter. Her name is Amanda. She's a charmer. Oh. Daughters are tough. Sons are also tough. Oh. Children in general are just... tough. I hear that. I mean, there'd have to be something wrong with you to raise more than two. I have four kids. What have I done? Oh, I mean. Oh. Don't worry. You didn't mean to be rude. Oh no, this is the first neighbor I've met. My social skill, my social life is already in a, in a tailspin. Only if it's too late to move again. Uh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is the missus around? Mister, actually, and. No, not anymore. He died. Uh. Oh. Oh. Uh. Oh. I'm sorry for your loss. No, no, it's all right. Wow, this is uncomfortable. We stand there quietly for a few mo few moments, acutely aware of how awkward we both made things. Mm. I'm sorry. Can you close the door real quick? I look at Joseph quizzily, quizzical, quizzically words. You read. You're, you're a better reader. <clears throat> I look at Joseph. 
quizzically, but comply. After a second, I hear a knock on the door. Opening it, I see Joseph standing there with a huge smile. Hi, I'm your new neighbor, Joseph. I promise not to talk about your dad's spouse this time. I'm throwing a barbecue because the cul-de-sac and I love for you to come by and meet the rest of the neighbors in our community. What'd you say, pal? Ooh. Sounds great. That sounds great. My daughter, Amanda, and I would love to stop by. Also, for kids, it's a perfectly normal amount to have. No, it's not. It's really not. Yeah, my aunt has like... Jesus we, Christ. We shake hands to seal the deal. Oh, nice. Well, neighbor, I'll see you at 3 p.m. sharp on Sunday. Saturday. Saturday. Sure thing, neighbor. I wonder what today is. Joseph starts walking away, but stops to think for a second and turns around. <laughs> hey, in all seriousness, raising a kid on your own can't be easy. If you ever need to talk, need to talk. If you ever need to talk about stuff, I'm the youth minister at the church down the street. Oh. Oh, I don't know. I wouldn't really consider myself a youth. I'm not nice. that young, sir. Thank you, though. You look pretty young to me, but suit yourself. Is he winking? Yeah. Well. He wants to be. He probably does. And with that, Joseph's gone. He seemed nice. Bitch! Where did you come from? Oh. Shaking my head. Amanda walks back into the living room, crumbs on her face, and a cookie in her hand. And that was the smoothest recovery I've ever ever seen. I should be taking notes. See, you're already feeling great. Where those cookies go? Where, yeah, where'd those cookies go? Uh -huh. They're gone. I'm sorry. Bitch! If it makes you feel any better, they weren't very good. Then why did you eat them all? So you ate them all anyway? See? Ellipses. I guess that make that makes it break time. Any ideas? All right, let's let, let's uh let's get some fresh air. Let's, yeah. let's go to that park. Park and the dogs. Okay. Will you help me sell a dog? For the last time, I can't fit a dog in the pockets of my cargo pants. It's physically impossible. You're not trying hard enough. You're breaking my heart, pops. A man and I begin to struggle the neighborhood. I can't believe how beautiful it is outside. Kids are playing in the street, flowers are in bloom, and the faint smell of and this this faint smell of a nearby barbecue drifts through the air. This place is nice. Mm. Too nice. I don't trust it. Good eye, honey. You can never be too careful. See that baby in the stroller over there? Government yeah, opportunity. Hmm. We're on to you, baby. <laughs> We walked around for a while and eventually end, end up at a small park. Toddlers chase each other through the playground, and dogs of all shapes and sizes run through the grass. It's pretty crowded, but Amanda spots a nice empty bench. We start to make our way over to it when... Heads up! Oh. Ow. Ow. Oh. A frisbee suddenly hits me straight in the face. Oh. Woof. Oh. A corgi. Oh, it's a corgi! Oh my god, it's the mean dog. A corgi with a neat plaid handkerchief tied around his neck bounds up to me, wagging his tail. What do we say? Hello. Hi, doggo. Oh, arf, arf. He runs in a circle and nudges my leg with his nose. Oh god, this is the cutest dog. Can I help you? Bro, impart your tiny... Impart your wisdom onto me, tiny dog. dog. No! We're gonna ask it to impart all of its dogly wisdom. Alright, go ahead. Woof, woof. That was stupid. Bro. How long do I have left? Right. Girl. <laughs> What's that? I'm, al I'm already too late. My fate was predetermined for me long ago. I can't read words. I have no real agency in this cruel li lifetime. In this cruel lifetime. Oh. Roof, roof. Words. 
You're, You're right. right. I am the master of my domain, for fate is unknowable. Thank you, wise dog. Arf. You definitely could have caught that. Excuse you, you don't know my reflexes. The guy in a wine shirt jogs over to us and tastes the frisbee for me. Hey man, he kind of big. Oh. You know, frisbee all frisbee all traditionally caught with your hands, not your face. Well, traditionally you're not supposed to aim at people's heads. Facts. Facts. I'm fine, thanks. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I'm Brian, by the way. I have Brian. I'm Githa, and this is my daughter. Amanda. I look over at Amanda, only to find her sitting on the ground, rubbing the dog's tummy. Hi. Oh. Your dog's cool. Ah, old Maxwell sure loves the attention. It's great to see another father-daughter out here. It's such a sunny day. Where's yours? Brian gestures over to the grassy knoll, where a young girl sits on a checkered blanket, reading a book bigger than her head. Oh, goodness. She puts it down and heads over to, to us. Ah. This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers. Of, what the fuck are you doing, Donald? Oh, uh, what's that K word? This is Daisy. She's reading the brothers Karma Karma Karamazoo. Her teacher tells me that she has the reading comprehension skills of a high schooler. She's not in high school. Fuck how? How old is she? Right. <laughs> Ten. She's a. Oh. Precious little youngster. Oh. Huh? Whoa. Hey. My natural dad is in Keith Lane. I must brag about my child's accomplishments. Oh no, it's happening. What, what's happening? What is happening? Oh shit, we're Pokemon boys! Go on, Daisy, tell him about yourself. Um, I. Brian, that's my girl. Good talk. Amanda, get in there. Okay, okay. Alright, even battle, we got this. What, what are we gonna do? Brag! Alright, then brag. Amanda here just recently won a local photography award. Cool. Wow, congratulations. Whoa, 10 points down. Daisy won, oh my god. Daisy actually won a stateside poetry contest. Yeah! Oh. Oh shit. No, he he's winning, no. Alright, alright now what? Um item. Alright, uh spelling bee photo, child art, grade. Great card. Okay. I pull out a wrinkle copy of the men's last grade card. What the fuck is it? A grade card out of my back pocket. What the fuck? Why do you have that in your back pocket? Dad? Yeah. Also grades. Brian loses 25 points. Yeah, bitch. You really carrying that around everywhere? Yeah. Ouch. Maybe it's kind of weird. Lose his five. Hey, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Daisy just started a weekly chess club at her elementary school computer lab. Oh my god. She's the president too, of course. Stop it. Dang. My high school didn't have a chess club or a computer lab, but we're old. You lose ten points. All right, all right, we're still winning. We're still winning. We still got this. We still got this. We're gonna brag, brag. again. Brag again. All right, brag. We're brag again. Last week, unprompted, Amanda helped an old, an old woman with her grocery bags. It, yeah. They just hold enough cook, cookie bar, candy bars at her school this year. They just hold enough candy bars this year to get top prize. Oh, a canoe. It's a fucking, it's a canoe. We're taking it out next weekend. What's a canoe? No, it's it, but it's a fucking canoe. Oh, that ain't even possible. Amanda could barely get one of those sticky, one, one of those sticky hand things. Oh shit! Oh shit, son! All right, all right, we, we still got this. Um, item, item, all right, all right, all right. We got, we got, we got child art, bandaid. We're not doing the bandaid. We got child art or a spelling bee photo. Back. Back. Child, spell and be photo I guess. I say, like, I don't see a back option. Fumbling through your phone, phone's browser, you managed to pull up a photo of Amanda winning her spelling bee, her 10th grade spelling bee. Brian. Congratulate. Wow, congratulations, Amanda. Daisy here. Daisy's getting prepped for her annual spelling bee. Alright, cool, cool. Hopefully, this will be her third, third win in the world. Oh, God. 
Alright, alright, we took some damage. <sighs> Did I mention that Daisy's first word was at 10 months was daddy? That's that's a little on the nose, but alright. Amanda was potty, still cute, but maybe this isn't the time to bring it up. Oh shit. Oh no, we're losing. We're Brag. losing. Alright. Man, this is in all honors classes this semester. Alright. Alright. Oh, really? I'm actually taking these. We're actually talking to Daisy teachers about having her skip a grade. Alright, Megan. If you wanna chill? Even the man. Oh. We oh, we, 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 we done with GG. Fuck this. Wow. So I take it you guys are new to the neighborhood. We just moved in. You live around here? Yeah. Yeah, we live in the cul-de-sac down the down next to the coffee shop. What a coincidence! We live there too. Small world. Yeah. Daisy and I are in this little ranch-style house on the corner. I know that house. It's just like ours, but slightly bigger and better landscape. Does this guy have to outdo me at everything? What a lovely place. Oh. Well, I don't want to take up any more of your time. Really nice meeting you guys. You should, you'll have to stop by sometime. Yeah, definitely. Bye. Brian and Daisy wander off farther to the park. With Ma Maxwell held in, happily chowding in tow. Ellipses. Do you get the feeling that that guy was trying to one-up us? Hmm. Trying and succeeding. I can't believe that kid's only 10. What was I even doing at her age? Uh, I believe you had a bit of a thing for horses. She made it and pan out. Could have majored in competitive horse studies. That's not what that word said. No. Comper. Well. Comper. It's not too late to minor in horse creative variety. Ha! <laughs> Too close to the truth, Dad. <sighs> Let us never again speak of the fantastic adventures of Sir Hershington, the Brave, an epic in seven parts by Amanda Dick. Okay, so she, so she does get her last name. All right, then. We laugh off the horse epic walk around the park a bit more annoying today. So let's go sleep. All this sunlight is making me real tired. I don't think I get enough sleep. I don't think I got enough sleep last night. You slept for 14 hours. No, it's not enough. Exactly. As we're walking home, I hear heavy footsteps coming from behind us. Get the... Bro! Hey. I turn around, and, agree and I'm greeted by a familiar face jogging up to us. Craig? Mm -hmm. Bro! Bro! Oh. Holy... Wow, I haven't seen Craig in forever. It's been too long, dude. Yeah, wow, you look great. Hey! Haha, <laughs> yeah, cleaned up my act. Cleaned up his act, are you kidding me? He's ripped! And he has, he has a baby. Amanda, this is my friend Craig. We went to college together. We were roommates for a while, too. <laughs> Amanda, dude, you probably don't remember me, but you're so big now! Ah. Hello, and hello, cute baby. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Last time I saw you, you were about her size. This is River. Say hi, River. He picks up her tiny rips and waves it. And waves it. River gurgles happily. Gurgles. Are you... babysitting? Oh. No, dude, River's my kid. Man, it has been a long time. Feels like one minute you're rolling up to exams with a bad hangover, and the next we're both fathers. Where you been, man? I've been working in California. Just relocated business back to Maple Bay. Maple Bay. No kidding. A man not just moved to this side of town. How's Smashley doing? I don't know. I mean, Ashley. Ashley is her name. Oh. <laughs> she actually still goes by Smashley, and, uh, we got divorced last year. Oh. Dude. I'm so sorry. Mm -hmm. It's old news, dude. It's old news, dude. We take care... <clears throat> we take care of River and the, and the twins. It's all copacetic. Where's the mouse? 
twins? You have three kids? Ain't life something, bro? Right? Keg Stan Craig is a father of three. Huh? Keg Stan Craig? Mm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that was my old college nickname. He got it because he did a lot of keg stands. Hmm. That's when you do a handstand on a keg and you drink from yeah. the keg. Right. He was very good at it. Hmm. Ah, bro. I hate to be that guy. But I'm in, the middle, I'm in the middle of my daily jog and I gotta get the rest. I gotta keep up my heart rate. What was it long for, you know? <laughs> Resistance training. You, you jog daily? I jog yearly. On July 1st. When I'm, on January 1st. July 1st. When I promise myself that, it is summer. that I'm going to jog it's daily still for the rest of the year. But give up 30 minutes and just walk on. No, oh. it's, it's still summer, man. Well, it's never too late to get back into it, dude. You should join me sometime. Haha. -ha. I don't know. Hey! Come on, it'll be fun. We can grab breakfast afterwards, catch up. We should do a bro brunch, like good old days. Alright, sure. Sounds great. Great. Let's get that going soon. I better get moving. Good to see you guys. Craig gives a little wave, puts his earbuds back in, and jogs off. I can't believe Craig is ripped and has kids. I'm reeling. Mm. Like, what, what, do you see fat or something? Why is that? The Craig I know was not fit to be responsible for any living thing, including and especially himself. One time I watched him drink an entire jar of marinara sauce for dinner. I'm alone, I'm by myself, someone said help. Amanda, he opened a new jar of marinara sauce and then he drank it like it was nothing. Like it was something normal people do. It was unholy. And then I asked him, what the hell is he doing? He said, and I quote, it's basically a smoothie, bro. I mean, technically, he's not wrong. He jogs. He was jogging. He's like a totally different person. Anyway, we better get home. I've got plenty of time to reflect on, on ah, I have plenty of time to reflect on how old I am. I feel later. Man and I flop down on the couch. Amanda has to shove some empty boxes out of the way before she can sit. Oh. Too bad we're gonna be putting my stuff right back into these boxes in a few months. No, don't say that. Mm -hmm. Aw oh, dad, it's gonna be okay. I'll be fine. I know. I know. It's just, you're my little girl. It's getting kind of weird not having you around. I'll come and visit. I'll text you every day. I'll take lots of pictures. I mean, obviously. I'm a photography major. You promise? Yeah. Of course. Are you going to be okay by your lonesome? Oh, come on. I'll be fine. I'll get a dog or something. A dog? Forget art school, I'll stay for the dog. Is that what it's gonna take? Medium-sized dog, handkerchief around the neck. I get to name it. That's what it cost for me to give up my dreams. I'm a woman of simple wants and needs. Well, a dog is a lot cheaper than college. Amanda laughs. Oh. Suddenly, a pile of en envelopes slides through the mail slot. What fucking time is it? Speaking of college... One o'clock does that mail show up in the morning? Four three. Amanda darts over the envelopes and shuffles through them. She pulls one out and throws the rest back on the floor. Bet you to clean that up. This is from Mick Growing. Going. Arts College of Arts and Design. Open it! Mm. But I'm scared. It's just no. <sighs> Yeah, it's just like my entire future. Not a big deal. She takes a deep breath and, rip and rips open the letter with her teeth. Jesus. We have a letter opener, but okay. I hope my breath will Amanda's eyes dart back and forth, scanning the letter. What's it? What's it say? Uh, the admissions committee has reviewed your application. Blah blah blah. Um, we. Her face drops. 
ellipses. I regret to inform you that you, we are unable to offer your admission to McGowan College Aww. of Arts and Design. She throws a letter on the coffee table. Oh, sweetie. Aww. It's okay. I kind of saw that coming. I should have tried to put that exper experimental stuff in my portfolio. Their admissions office told me they just want to see my portraits or whatever. I pull Amanda in for a big hug. You're an amazing photographer. I don't know how much you, I don't know how much work you put in your portfolio. Some school's gonna snatch you up for sure. Hmm. Yeah, I know. It's fine. Are you actually fine or are you just saying hmm? that? I'm fine. Really? Her face has the opposite, but I probably shouldn't push her on this. Huh. On this. And before I forget, Emma R and Emma P are staying the night Aww. tonight. So, ellipses. You need me to get out of the way because I'm painfully unfair. I would have chose more delicate phrasing, but yes. Well, I'll have you know. I conventionally already have plans for the night, so I'll just have the new. So you'll have the new place to yourself. Yeah. What are your plans? Quick, think of plans. Malik, where we, where, where, what are we doing? What are our plans? I'm going clubbing. We're going fucking clubbing. I'm gonna go. <clears throat> I'm gonna put on a nice outfit. Is our outfit not, not already nice enough? And tear up, tear up the dance floor. All the hottest dance moves, the lawnmower, the sprinkler, the running man. You know, the ones other kids are doing these days. Mm. Alright. But I'm not gonna pick you up or if you pull anything. I'm not gonna pick you up if you pull anything this time. Not again. I'm just kidding. I'm actually going to... Malik, which one are we going? We're gonna watch watch that game. Nice. Mm. Which game? You know, the game. The one that's on the night. Ugh. The game on TV at somewhere other than here. Ah. Okay. Cool. While you do that, I'm gonna do drugs and commit some light arson with the Emmas. I'm concerned you're hanging with the wrong crowd. Amanda shrugs. I would have expected you guys to be up to some white collar, be up to the white collar crime by this point. Maybe money laundering at this, at least. <laughs> I'm a street rat, pops. You're kidding about the drugs and crime, right? Um. Yes, Dad. Just making sure. I give her a pound the head. Yeah. Have fun with your sports. Are you are you being sarcastic? Ugh. No. Making fun of sports is played out. Okay. All right then. I do some light cleaning around the house and decide to clear out the right <clears throat> and to clear out right before Amanda's friends arrive. Before I leave, Amanda stops me. Mm -hmm. Hey, don't forget you have that meeting with my English teacher tomorrow. All right, Mr. Vega. Yep, totally remember. I'll be there. Well, I guess I don't. I guess I really didn't. Think this plan through. I'm not entirely sure where the closest bar bar is, and Amanda still hasn't shown me where. Show me how to use the GPS on my phone. So I'll just pick a direction and walk in it. Let's go this way. Cool. Okay. We're marching. We're marching in the direction of the game. Any game, really. In the distance. Could it be? A big burned on burnt out neon sign hangs over a tiny dive bar. Kim and Jim's? Huh? Alright, that'll do. The bar is small and dimly lit. The crack of pool balls. In the back as patrons laugh and joke. A stir of multicolored Christmas a string of multicolored Christmas lights hang <coughs> hover over the bartender. I can't tell if he's Kim or Jim. I'll, I pull up a seat to the bar. 
What will it be? One beer, please. Sure thing, boss. The bartender slides me an ice cold beer. I take a sip and enjoy the refreshing taste. Beer is disgusting. Say, are you Kim? Or are you Jim or Kim? I'm Neil. Oh. I awkwardly turn my attention to the game, which is playing on one of the TVs on the wall. As luck would have it, my team of preference is not only playing, but is currently in the lead, which is always a good thing. The brightly colored mascot, which is one, which is some kind of animal, does cartwheels. I silently cheer. For, I silently cheer my favorite, my favorite team. Well, I silent. Jesus Christ, words are hard. I silently cheer on my favorite team. My favorite team, hoping that I don't get in anyone's, I don't get in any confrontational arguments with a fan of the opposing team. Several people in this bar are wearing distinctive colors of the team I dislike. Although I believe in, I believe from their demeanor that it is like me. The passion of their, passion of their team is all in good fun. Hey. A middle-aged woman holding a nearly empty wine glass slides up to the bar sits uncomfortably close to me. Hey, sailor. Oh, hello. Ah. Good to see fresh meat in here. I'm Mary. Come here often? Uh, no. I actually just moved to this part of town. I'm Githa, by the way. Ah. Are you watching the game? Yeah, my preferred team is in the lead. If they keep this up, they'll win the game with ease. Hey. Oh, I love that team. I also love that game. I love someone who knows the way around balls. Yup. Mm -hmm. I'm getting the impression she's a little drunk. Like, just the tiniest bit drunk. Uh... Mm. Buy a gala drink? Buy her a drink. Are you gonna buy her a drink? Alright. I almost reluctantly signal for the bartender and order, and order Mary another glass of wine. Neil jokes back and forth with Mary. They co they're clearly friends, and that's and that this clearly isn't her first time doing this. She top tips her glass to me. Suppose I gotta keep you company hey. now. So what do you wanna know? Uh, what should I do? What should mm. you do? Me? I'm a ghost, Ginda. I haunt the haunted halls of Jim and Kim's. Waiting for my beloved to return from the sea. Really? No. Ah. Home gal just loves a drink. So let's continue with this part of town. Mm. It's quiet, that's for sure. If you want any... Italy? 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 What the fuck is that word? To me, continents. If you want an... Uh... If you want an uh, ideal... Ideal, uh, idyllic, I think it's idyllic. Idyllic, little life. With white picket fit, with white picket fences, this is the place to do it. But every town has its secrets, you know. Oh my god. She takes a sip. She takes a sip of her drink. That that was a little too ominous for my taste. She leans closer. Hey. Would you like to learn from my secrets? Oh boy. Ah, uh, maybe some other time. Give it a rest. Suit yourself, sailor. Mary saunters off, setting her sights on the, on the newest bar, pa bar patron to enter. I happily watched the game over another beer. The game, <clears throat> the game has gotten close in, the, in terms of points. A little too close than I was, than I'm comfortable with. After a particularly skilled player scores a number of points for the other team. Putting them in the lead, I hear an affirmative grunt from another man at the bar. Go team! Why is this written like they don't know what sports are? Because they probably can't. I don't know maybe they're gonna talk about the sports. Or maybe they don't know what sports are. I don't know. Maybe they don't know how to see right now. You're the smart you're the smart one here. Everyone else is gone. It's just you and me now. I developed the game. Facts. I don't think that's smart. It's the brooding man from the coffee from the coffee spoon. He sits alone, sipping whiskey and watching the game as well. Enjoying the game? I am now that we're winning. 
No. We must be rooting for different teams. In my opinion, my team is, thank God. Bad at reading? Yeah. Bad, be, bad at reading out loud. In my head, I'm fine. Out loud is like, feel just, it. just like a disconnect. So we bought Mary a drink. Who's Mary? Some uh, white lady we that we met. Bro, we lost the Pokemon battle. We're not gonna Pokemon anymore. How the fuck did you lose the Pokemon battle? This little shit's kid was like, yo, my kid carried the high school grading level. I was like, damn. I was like, all right. I know. That's cool. She's about to win her third spell and be there. I was like, damn. She's the president of her chess club. I'm like, I didn't have a chess club. It's because we picked the Gragam. It's because I pulled out the spell and beat instead of like just Gragam. Ooh, I never did that before. Bro. In my opinion, my team is far superior. I have to disagree with that. Based on our win-loss record, I'd say that my team is superior. That's why you're wrong. Since as it stands right now, my team is beating yours. Conversation ends there, and we both go back to silently rooting for our respective teams. The game is close, with both sides playing their hardest to win, but in the end, my team prevails. Quiet cheers ripple throughout the bar. I raise a respectful glass to the man drinking whiskey. He raises his in response. An unspoken truce is formed between us based on mutual love for the game. He motions to the bartender who pours two glasses of whiskey. The man slides one over to me. The name's Robert. Thanks. I'm Getha. I know we can fuck this man. You must be new here. Mary already hit on you? Yes. Yep. Damn, Robert she chuckles. Yeah. She's a peach. Well, you picked the best bar in town. As slimy as it is, you'll never find a better spot than Jim and Kim's. Is there actually a Jim or a Kim that runs this place? No, that'd be Neil. Neil waves from across the bar. Good guy, Neil. Not enough Neils in this world. Okay. You a whiskey fella or a beer, beer fella? Beer, but I'll drink most things. You like shots? I mean... Ooh, shots fired, I don't like them. I mean, it depends on what the shot is, but... Well, that's gonna be a problem. Robert Nelson Neal, who serves up two shots of whiskey, he hands one to me. Here's to your health. We take the shots, the whiskey burns going down, but I try my hardest to look tough. Wait, I think this is what making friends is. Okay, get the... This guy's out of my friend league, but if I play my cards right, we'll be pals in no time. You say go for the hand tattoo? I like your tattoo, what does it mean? It's... A reminder. I wait for him to elaborate, but it seems like he's done talking. Man, this guy is mysterious. And cool. Like older than I am, at least. Robert signals to the bartender for another round. What are you doing here tonight? Um. You want to be truthful or you want to make some shit up? Because our daughter's kind of kicked us the fuck out of the house. Why? Why'd she kick us the fuck out of the house? Yeah. Her, her friends are spinning tonight. So she kicked us the fuck out of the house. I shit you. She's like, go make yourself scarce. And you're like, no, nah, bitch, I got plans. What are your plans? I'm gonna go uh, watch the game at a bar. Yeah. I'm running for my problems. The usual. Uh, I like your style. Hey. Pick it up. You're right back. Got a powder in my nose. Like, like. Hold up. Like, like, like. Like, this is going to the bathroom and pee. I don't know. Or, or like actually like. Never seen Robert this talkative. He must like you. Ha! <laughs> Gets so. You're gonna admit that Robert has a gruff charm to him. If a guy like that thinks that I'm cool, then I really must be. Robert comes back from the bathroom and grabs his leather jacket. This is gonna go like You heading my way? No. Robert and I leave the bars and find ourselves walking in the same direction. Hi. I live in this cul-de-sac down the way. Does everybody live there? Me too. We just finished unpacking yeah. today. Great place to be. Good neighbors. Well, some of them. Who's that? We get to Robert's house, which is just a few houses away from mine. We stop and he turns to me. I don't kiss and tell, okay? Uh -huh. So are we doing this or what? What? I... You know. You want to come inside or not? So. So. Let it happen. So do, do you happen. want this man's dick? Can you try to get off the dick? You can get this man's dick right now. He's mysterious. And you can get his dick and not be and not be uh committed to him. 
So we can get that dick and then we can get two other dicks. We can get one good dick. Two other dicks. One good dick. We're not committed, which means this is just a hit and run, which means we can get two other dicks. How, how do you see two? How do I see two? Mm-hmm. You said we can get a maximum of two dicks, which means that He's this the man first. is not a real dick. <laughs> this is just a shadow dick. What's, what's a shadow dick? Uh, you have my attention now. A shadow dick is just a dick that was there, but isn't really there. Nobody sees that dick, which means that nobody knows about this dick, which means that the game doesn't know about this dick, which means we can still get two other dicks. No. Which means that technically we're up to three, but all in reality, we're only at two because one of them was a shadow dick named Robert. So what, what should we do, Sean? <laughs> but yo, no, we gotta get Vampire Daddy. You, you can fuck this man and still get Vampire Daddy. But there's other men. What about Lucio? We gotta make Lucio Ball a real thing. Hey, is that still going on? Yeah. What's that in? <coughs> I don't know. Shani, when's Lucio Ball? You're mm-hmm. smart. Fuck. Did you just hit your head in the, on the air conditioner? No, the air conditioner caught my hair and I yanked it out of my skull. Ah! I'll say you hey, short black people hair. Yeah. So about this man. Do you want this man's dick, yes or no? He seems chill, but if that limits the amount of daddy dicks that it I can get not later limit, on... It does not limit the amount of daddy dick you can get later on. I feel like you're lying to I'm me. I'm not lying to you. I watched Ray play the game. Ray helped make this game. He's a voice actor for uh, one of the dads. I don't remember which one. I'm going to Google it. What? If you, how many dads you can get or, the, or Ray voice the character? I'm going to get that Yes to which one? Yes. Ray was a voice actor. He, he, I don't remember which one. It's one of the black dads. I know that. I do know you, you can fuck this man right now. So basically, it depends on how the story goes. And then, yeah. you have to commit to someone. Alright, let's see all the dads first. Mm-hmm. Good job. Head home, head buzzing with whiskey. What did he mean by are we going to do this or not? I plop down on the couch and I'm asleep before I can even get a chance to take my shoes off. Someone asked you, are we gonna do this? Are we gonna do this or not? What do you, what do you listen to? Poker. Why poker? It's what dads do at night. So your, your dad plays poker at night. I've seen him play poker for three days straight. What? Was this before or after Vegas? Before. That's probably why. I wake up to a text from an unknown number. Rise and shine, early birds. Still wanna work out? This is Craig, by the way. Happy face. Holy crap, it's 6 a.m. Who does 6 a.m. anymore? Without realizing it, I drip back to sleep. Oops, must have went back out and checked my phone again. Hey, bud, still want to get your swole on? I'm ready to tear up the track. Hit me up. God, the last thing I want to do is work out, but it is Craig. I do want to catch up. Go to the gym. Bro, he's our friend. He's our dude bro from college. He has a daughter. Hey, my man, I need a few minutes to wake up, but let's meet in 20. After a few seconds, another text comes in. Sure thing, meet me at the gym. I'm stretching my bones creak. I gotta stop falling asleep on the couch. I throw off my blankets and hey, wait. I don't remember falling asleep with the blanket. Amanda must have tucked me in after I fell asleep. Bless that child. I reluctantly brush my teeth, throw on my only clothes I own that are even kind of gym appropriate, and head out. What are our gym appropriate clothes? We about to fuck, wait, I, I don't know. It's like we're not gonna find out. We don't change outfits. The neighborhood is quiet and serene this early morning. Birds chirp and the grass is still wet with dew. Surprisingly, the gym is pretty crowded. I spot Craig standing out front, stretching. Of course, he spots me and waves enthusiastically. Oh, I have a question. What the fuck? That's Craig. That, that's our dude, bro, from college. You missed a lot. Hey, bro, good morning. Hey, good to see you, man. I'm definitely not as pumped as he is. Maybe I should have had some coffee hmm. before I left. Probably. Ready to kick some butt? Help! Help! This is it. This is how I die. Nice. I'll be alright, dude. We'll ease you into it. Nice. <laughs> that was we head to the gym and I'm immediately intimidated. All of these people look like they could break me in half. And it seems like Craig is friends with all of them? He high fives and finger guns all of the cool jocks in the room. They look like they could all steal my lunch money to spend on protein nice. shakes. Damn. Come on, bud. Let's warm up. Head over to the treadmills and start walking. Okay, I can walk. Walking is good. This yeah. is a decent place to be. Walking. Yeah. Uh-huh. So I know we're on mm-hmm. treadmills. Yes. And those over there are ellipticals. Mm-hmm. Very good. What is all this other stuff? <laughs> hey. Craig laughs. They might look a little scary, but I guarantee that all of them serve a specific purpose for building muscle mass. Uh-huh. 
I watched this dude in a muscle fleet. Tex T flexes a muscle that I didn't know existed on a machine. I think was once used to process grain into flour. What is that? And why is that guy doing that to himself? That's a good question, bro. What do you think he's doing? <laughs> Training to crush people's skulls. He's... He's trained to make his thighs so strong that he could crush people's skulls hey. with them. Yeah, that's pretty much the only reason I work out. Oh no, Craig is turning up the speed. I better do the same. How uh, how long have you been doing the buff thing? A couple years. And what, what do you do when you're not dadding or working or buffing? Oh. Uh, I coach my twin softball team. That still counts as both dadding and buffing. Mm -hmm. Ah, I keep busy. What do you do for fun? I don't think we can fuck this guy. Wait, this is this the one with the wife? No. No, that's the we that, we that's met him. Crappy. He was like, he hi. Came to your house. Bro, was like, bro, he was like, was bro, like he, 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 he wasn't here for that. He was like, here's some cookies. You're like, cool. Who the fuck are you? I'm your new neighbor. You just moved in. My daughter made these. I really made these. How? Where's your wife? My husband died. Raising a kid can be hard. I know, right? Anyone with more than two is weird. I have four. Shit. I got you. We're gonna, I'm gonna step out. I'm gonna come back in. We're gonna, this is gonna be normal. Hello, neighbor. Yes, hello, neighbor. We have a barbecue on Saturday at three. Would you like to show up? I would love to. This is awkward. Now I'm gonna leave. Your daughter comes back. Hey, man, them cookies are nasty. Why the fuck didn't you send me one though? They weren't that nasty. That's pretty much how that went. Okay, um... Check out my hot bar. Are we trying to fuck this man? Do you he said that we can fuck two men. I'm down to Robert fuck this Robert was in the you could fuck, and you were like, no. Yeah, that's because, like, who wants drunken edge daddy? See, this is the daddy with the wife. Ah, uh, it's okay. I don't want him anyway. He doesn't so like that guy. you are attracted to Robert, <laughs> but you're attracted to Look Craig at this dude! Alright, 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 hold on. Alright, hold on. He looks like wait, he wait. would fuck me. Like, with Cecil. these eyes. Okay, Cecil. Look, with these eyes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold wait, on. wait, I got you. Do you want to fuck someone you just met or do you want to fuck your best friend? I'm going to fuck my best friend right. and then the next vampire dude. Alright. That's all right. that's the goal. Yeah, that's right. our that's our, that's our our hit. So, so we're going to fuck our best friend and then we're going to play this again and, and fuck the vampire dude. We can fuck two of them though. You said we could get two dicks. Yeah, but you said no to the first one. Robert was the first one. You could only get Robert and then another dick? Yeah. It's a, he's a one-night stand. Well, you I idiot. lied to. I didn't lie to you! Said I said two! I said two! He said two. But well, he didn't specify. specify. He didn't specify. I did say... He, I legit, he was like, you can fuck him right now. You're like, nah, uh-uh. So do, do you want this man's dick? Can you trying to get off the dick? You, you can get this man's dick right now. He's mysterious. I'm like, yeah, because yeah, I was like, right now. then that means that that I can't get the two other dicks. And you were like, no, there's only yeah. one other dick. You to was get. like, yeah, because once you get this one, then there will only be one other dick. And I was like, yes, that but means if you I don't only get commit him, to one I other man. Two dicks. No, because technically that's a shadow dick. No, that's not. Dick. No, that's not how it works. That's what you said. No, it's not. Nope. Yeah, can we fuck the game? I fuck shit up. This motherfucker. This I, I almost, is your dad still downstairs? Yeah. All right. I almost said something that was gonna kick him. Okay. Out. You know what? We're just gonna do. I love learning. Cause now I feel as though I can't get a second dick. Right, just I just only fucking get game one over there. We can get we can I got, two dicks. I can only spread these ticks once. What type of man can't fuck everybody? You. Bet. In this, in one playthrough. I'm gonna Google it. Oh my god. What is the what is switch on? Name and Don't eat all of them. Hey man, them goldfish any good? I always said You super fucked that up. Don't do it lol, but it fucks up the relationship with him. Asian dad is best dad. What does that mean? Best dad. What is that whole Apparently thing? Asian dad is best dad. I, I understood that what what the first part, but part of that thing? Uh, fuck Asian dad. Do I get vamp dad? 
Because I want vampire children, Malik. We're going to take over the world. Hey, he's he... not really a vampire, though. You shut up. He's a super freaking god. Uh, okay, I can see it now. Never mind. Mm. Oh, damn. Now we got to figure it out. Look, so who... look up a list of daddies real quick. <laughs> Just go. All right, all right. Because no, no. the game auto saves. Just back up and legit look who you want to be with. I did the dad selector. When they're like, dream dad. I like, think it's Cause you, you got the fat man who you didn't so see you with the Craig, dog. Robert, yeah, I know that Robert. He looks like Jesse. His name is Craig too. He looks like Jesse. Jesse's that big, or is the the red hair? Jesse's Jesse's a, Jesse's a big man. Yeah, yeah. Is Brian this dude the golf dude? The Robert, black dude. the preppy dude, the black dude. dude. There's, There's the teacher, the coffee guy. This guy. That's the black dude. There's two black guys. The coffee dude. The coffee dude and the teacher. There's a teacher. Hey, bro, we can fuck a teacher. We can be smart. We can get smarter. Specifically, your daughter's teacher. Oh. <laughs> Apparently, Glenn was waiting on his clothes to dry. I was just like, yeah, that's a... Uh, I got time, man. That's kind of late. I told you. I was like, yo, I need them 30 minutes. Your shit's going. The difference is, is you're not late to work. I'm not late to work. At most, I've been to late to home. work. Is two minutes. Get what Joseph works, if he's awake. Okay, so Malik, you say we fucking Craig? You wanna fuck your best friend? Hell yeah. Who would not? Okay, so what, what are we picking here, boys? <laughs> <laughs> I love learning. I try to live Check as close to a Jimmy Buffett. God. I spend most of my free time in front of the mirror. Admiring my Adonis-like figure <laughs> that I <laughs> work so hard to stop. I mean, we are Goku, so this is, it's not totally wrong, right? <laughs> By that I mean lay horizontally and watch bad television. We're jogging now. Oh god, we're jogging now. I look over to Craig, who hasn't even broken a sweat. How is he doing this so effortlessly? I'm dying. I can feel my life force draining through every orifice of my body. Hey. Remember when my fist died in college? <sighs> no! I don't like this story. <sighs> oh my god, he is really bumping up the speed again. <sighs> I guess I better do it too. Oh, this is fast. This is this is very fast. And we were at that party, and you vowed to make me feel better. You tell me to create a distraction, so of course I do a sick cake stand and get everyone cheering. And then I I try to steal a fish tank, or a fish from a fish tank, at the party with my bare hands. I can eat. And then, you drop the fish and it's flopping around and you panic. So you run up to me post cake stand with a dying, dirty fish in your hands that you scooped off the ground, and you're yelling at me that we have to leave. Hey. Sounds like someone else. So we're running out of a frat party with a fish, trying to give him mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. That's not how that works. And we get him home and get him into a bowl of water, and the prognosis was grim. And then the next day, he's... <laughs> oh, <I'm laughs> well. the, the fucking dog was like, well. They never did catch the great fish thieves of Grand Rich U. And they never... <sighs> well... I shoot off the edge of the treadmill and crash into the wall. Jesus, that hurts. Nice. Dude, bro, are you okay? Craig offers me a hand and looks me over for injuries. Ah, fantastic. I managed to stand up and run my back. Doesn't hurt now, but I'm sure it will later. You don't have to push yourself like that. Always know your limits. Well, I think I might call our gym adventure here. Mm -hmm. You sure? Oh. Yeah. Alright, well, here. I brought you this. Craig hands me a shaker bottle full of a thick green liquid, and I stare at it with must be apparent distaste. Oh. It's a protein shake, bro. Oh. Thank you. Why is it green? He wants me to drink it. Oh boy, here it goes. Why is it green? I take a small sip. It's actually delicious. Wow, this is really good. Hey. And good for you. It's my special recipe. I'm pretty proud of it. I don't know if you ever want to work out again. Maybe we could try running around the neighborhood if treadmills aren't your speed. No pun intended, bro. 
Good one. Well, I'm gonna go put some ice on this. Everything. I'll see you around? Leave the gym feeling ashamed. Craig used to order delivery pizza from the place across the street from our dorm, and now he can run circles around me. Literally. Man, I really gotta work on this dad bod. I get home and lie on the couch, it hurts to move. Oh god, I'm so old. Same. Oh no, I must have fallen asleep. What time is it? Shoot, it's 3.55. I'm supposed to be out of man to school in five minutes. I frantically put on some clean clothes, apply a generous amount of deodorant, and run out the door. You got this? Yeah. Iron Man School, check the front desk, and they give me a bright orange visitor sticker and send me on my way. I'm barely awake and feeling pretty haggard, but hopefully no one will notice. I check my watch, and I'm relieved to see that I'm only two minutes late. Wait, was it room 103 or 108? I spot a youth standing in soccer and approach him for help. Excuse me, do you know where Mr. Vega's classroom is? It's the Empire Daddy's kid. Figured out. <laughs> you couldn't tell by his The youth turns around everything? and looks me up heavily with heavily lined eyes. Sigh. Come on, kid, I'm late for a meeting. Mr. Who? Mr. Vega. I don't know, have you tried the exit? Okay, wise guy, are you gonna help me out or not? Sigh, fine, up the stairs and to the left, you can't miss them. Upstairs to the left. Unable to find Mr. Vega's classroom anywhere. After a couple minutes of searching, I head back down the stairs. That punk youth sent me on a wild goose chase. I get back to where that low-rent Gerard Way is standing, fully ready to give him peace of my mind, when suddenly a head pops out of the classroom mm -hmm. next to his locker. Lucian, don't you have a third period to get to? Fine, Mr. Vega. Wow. Now I'm officially ten minutes late, and I glare at him as he walks away. Hmm. We're not cool. <laughs> Must be get the This period's almost over. Would you mind waiting in the back? Oh. That's right. Mr. Vega leads me in, and I take a seat in one of the comically small student desks in the back. Oh. I might get stuck in this. Alright, now. Remember where were we? The desk from Who can tell me about the unreliability of the narrator in J.D. Salinger's catch and, oh. Catcher in the Rye? Yes, Colin. Colin stands up and does the thing where he blows into the crook of his elbow to make a fart mm. noise. The whole class erupts in laughter. Oh. Yeah, I'm too fat for that. Alright, alright, everybody. Very funny. Colin, please mm. sit down. Now, Holton Caulfield is an unreliable narrator in the sense that the bell for the period ends. All of the students immediately get up and make a break huh? for the door. Remember to do the reading and answer the response questions on the page 194 of textbook. And nobody says that. Oh. Or not, I guess. That's, uh, that's cool, too. Just to make it turn to me in size. Hmm. <sighs> Middle schoolers, right? Don't you teach high schoolers? Hmm. Both, you know. Budget cuts. Oh, right. Thanks so much for coming in. No problem, Mr. Hmm? Vega. Please, call me Hugo. I don't know. Don't let me only do these impromptu parent-teacher meetings, but as I'm sure you know, Amanda's a very bright suit, and I'm concerned about her recent behavior. What's going on? <sighs> Amanda has never been the most engaged student, but I know she cares. Recently, though, she's been falling behind. Oh, she's shit. not completing assignments and has been rather Probably. poorly on tests. I normally what? chalk this up to senioritis, but... This is strange. I thought Amanda always shared everything with me. It hadn't even crossed my mind that something might be wrong. I just wanted to ask, is everything okay at home? Uh, we just... We just got here. We just moved. Well, we just moved recently, but it was always the other side of town, and Amanda was more excited about it than ah. I was. See if you can talk to her about it. I know she values a great deal and would appreciate your guidance. If she keeps heading down this road, I know how important art school is to her, and I would hate to see her miss out on scholarship money that she clearly deserves. I'll make sure to talk to Amanda. Thanks for letting me know. Mm. Anytime. On my way out, I stopped thinking for a moment. My time to Hugo. Thank you, Hugo. Mm. Yes? Did they ever catch that ride? Oh. Yes. I earned daddy points by just reading. I don't know what that book's about. I've never read that book. Same. I leave my classroom, or I leave the classroom and make my way out of school. I'm still a little bit in shock that Amanda was able to hide this so well from me. She's always been such a force for positivity in my life, especially after we lost her father. Amanda. Amanda must be done with classes by now, for the day by now. I'm sure she would appreciate a ride home. Maybe I can talk to her about what's happening. Uh. Pull up to the carpool and Amanda hops in the passenger seat. So, did you have fun gossiping about me? Maybe. Mr. Vega and I actually just gossiped about our celebrity crushes. 
So you talked about Mario Batali the whole time. It was a very productive hmm. Do we know who that is? I'm pretty hungry. Can Mario we grab some Batali food? Is that voodoo who always wears the orange cross? Do you know who that is now? I was gonna say, I, I bet you we know who sure that is. It's a food show guy. Mama knows. <laughs> Let's go to the food mall court. Does that sound mm. good to you? Yeah, sure. Go to the mall. Jeez, can a dad take his daughter mm. to the mall? Will you buy me things? I will buy you a thing. Singular. Yeah. Sounds like a deal to me. Okay, she we drive in silence for a short while and Amanda plays a game on her phone. She should say something. You know, sometimes when a kid gets older, they find that they have to keep things hidden from their parents. And that's okay, because Would sometimes that that's what kids do. And that's okay. This guy? But yeah, also, sometimes it's good to have the parents' guy. perspective, because, cool. you know, maybe the parent really also has to deal with a similar situation. He doesn't have a job, but can afford a house. And maybe they're cooler that you give me credit for. That, anyway, wait, what hold on, can we talk about that for a second? Is that it's good to share. Love you. you don't know what it says have you been reading my tweets? Can, can, we, can we talk about that for a second? You have a mm -hmm. Twitter? What? Never mind. Look, sweetie, Mr. Vegas said that you haven't been participating in class and that you're not turning things in. What? So, this man, I'm gonna assume doesn't work because he just sleeps all fucking day and goes and goes and hangs out with his other friends. Yeah. How the fuck we afford a house if we ain't got a job? You don't know what his husband save. did. Yeah, he could have a lot of money from his husband's dead. Right. So we're a gold digger, got it. Well, I mean, I it probably was enough he didn't have to. It makes sense. That's why you have to fuck Chris. That he has money. Huh. Oh, fine pop, senioritis, and all that. I thought you liked hmm. Mr. Vegas' class. It's fine. He's fine. We pull up to a stoplight, and I am Amanda. She's still texting. Just texting about. I want you to know that you can talk to me about anything. Uh-huh. I can tell that whatever it is, You're she doesn't want me knowing about shit, it. That's man, frustrating. Man. Uh, I heard Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California. That's exciting. Yep. Are you bummed out that guys still aren't going to the same school? Hmm. Yep. Amanda keeps texting. She stifles a laugh. It's so funny. Uh, it's a... Uh, I don't think you'd get it. Okay. Who are you texting? Hmm. Noah. Who the fuck's Noah? Who's Noah? My friend. Does he go to your school? Hmm. Yep. Do you... Like no <laughs> What? No! Dad! Ugh, I can't believe you would. Dad. I mean, jeez. Why would you... Ugh. Gross. Gross. Because it's skipping class. Sorry, no. sorry. Just asking. It out. Dad, he's just my friend. Guys and girls can be friends. He's my friend. Okay, okay. Jeez. I mean, she's going well. She's not wrong with the way she's say, acting yeah. about it. She's well, good it. talk. Love you, kiddo. She leans forward and turns on the radio. I guess that conversation is over. To the mall, then. We arrive at the mall. A big door. A big indoor shopping center with a couple different floors. It's like Wait, a shed that doesn't stop a mall security guard from yelling at a group of loitering teens. Let's eat something disgusting for dinner. Hell yeah. Language missing. Mm. Heck yeah. Better. Mm. We approach the food court to evaluate our options. There's greasy restaurant after greasy restaurant. My heart burns just looking at the menus. Nobody looks to be happy here. What are you in the mood for? Bread dipped sugar and bread. Er, bread dipped in sugar, bread with cheese on it, or do you just want me to inject some fat directly into your bloodstream? I extend my hand to her. Would you do me the honor of sharing some nachos? She takes my hand with a grin. Would make me the happiest, cheesiest girl alive. We order a giant pile of chips and a naturally orange cheese from a very unenthusiastic, enthusiastic, and possibly stone teenager. We take a seat at a rickety table and dig hey. in. These are bad. These are very bad, but also strangely delicious. So it's Taco Bell food. We have to eat through the pain. We enjoy the fluorescent, cheesy goodness together until we're all out of nachos. So. Uh. Something's been bothering me for a while. Can you explain memes to me? Hmm. Sigh. Which meme? All. All memes. Oh, we don't have time for that. Sighs deeply and places her head in her hands. Dad. 
It's complicated. See, memes are inside jokes shared by a bunch of people that get less funny the more the people do it. The pr so the problem is, is that by the time a meme gets to you, Dad, all us youths have already done that joke to death. Ugh. And what's worse than that is that movies and TVs and video games will try to jump on a meme train, but based on how long it takes them to get to the meme, they will be long dead by the time it comes out. So it just dates and it isn't funny. Oh shit, what up? Aww. See, why does why this game get super fucking real for Dad, a second? please. <laughs> anyway, changing the subject. Where to now? Go to that goth huh? store. What? You know, the one that's all black and tries to establish itself as an anti-establishment despite being the fact of its exact representation of the establishment. Hot topic. I don't know what story you're talking about. Hot topic. You know, the one where you can buy the chain wallets and it's basically an assault on people who fought so hard against the punk and the hardcore movements of the 70s and huh? 80s. Dude, you've got to be more specific. There's more than just hot topic? The one you threw up in that one time. Oh, that one! Yeah! Amanda runs into the store with me trailing behind her and she makes a beeline yeah. for that. There it is, you can still see the outline kinda. I'm so proud. Speech. Amanda. Yeah. Speech! 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 Alright, I'll do it if you stop chanting! <laughs> Amanda stops immediately. I clear my throat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you all for joining us here today to commemorate an historic mo- Why does it say and historic? Um, a historic moment that would forever shape history. On a day very much like today, some five years ago, our very own Amanda and Dick had too much <laughs> blue raspberry slushy on an outing to the mall. After begging her father to take her to dead goth and beyond. Oh my god. That's- <laughs> to buy rainbow suspenders, she proceeded to throw up all over a display of My Chemical Romance merchandise. Her loving father then had to pay for said merchandise, which to this day remains among our possessions. Thank you. So, like, why are there real life things? In the Amanda world? is moved. She begins clapping, slow at first, and faster and more vigorously. Several other patrons turn their heads. One of them also starts clapping. I bow my head. Oh, hey! Chain wallets. Well, Amanda busies herself looking at band t-shirts. I try to find something of interest to myself. Not much for her dad to look at in dead goth and beyond. Clearance bin for dads. I was gonna say clearance bin or ironic mugs? Clearance bin for dads. I'll link you with the clearance bin. For sure, the band t-shirts. Oh. Oh, I can check out the <laughs> like we're dads, man. You know, go up to band t-shirts as a hot dad. In a big cardboard box of marked down items, I'm pretty sure $4 for purple eyeliner is a good deal, I think. I wonder if I would look good in purple eyeliner. Hell yes, I would. <laughs> look, this is very important to me. Oh my god. This dude looks sick. He has a fucking vest on with a cape. I overhear a stifled argument over at the cash register. An older gentleman is carrying a garment and showing it to a bored looking cashier with pink hair. I can see that. Don't know what to tell you. That's what? Short it looks like a what? Listen. When I bought this online, this website said. Hey, 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 wait. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Listen, when I bought this online, the website said that this blouse was Victorian expired. However, when I received that. it, it clearly oh. held a trademark of the Edwardian <laughs> dressage. You want a coupon? I can give you a coupon. Will you leave? Oh, you so you said you say coupon? Okay. I'm missing. I'm missing. I don't say coupon. I say coupon. It feels weird. It does feel weird. It, it feels, it feels, yeah. like on the inside it feels weird coming on the mouth it feels weird. Like, like, like I don't know man. See I read it. C-O-U-Q-E-P-O-N. So Q, like the first thing I think is Q-E-U-E. Yeah. What do you call it? Coupon. How do you, do you say? Coupon versus coupon. Which do you say? Coupon. I say coupon. Malik? Are you coupon or coupon? I guess, it's, I guess it's, it's a black people coupon. thing. A coupon? What do you say, CJ? I don't see coupon. Coup? Yeah. Mm. Q. Oh! Yeah, that's, cool. how, that's how it's spelled. It's like, yeah. Man. Coupon. Coupon. I don't know which one I said. I said Q, but I never said <laughs> I don't know which one I said, but I said this one, so it's this one. <laughs> Is there a manager present? 
People have to know what they're buying. I am the manager. Hmm. I see. Well, it seems that I have outstayed my welcome. Good day, shopkeep. Your superiors will receive a strongly worded letter by post. Whatever, dude. The man rolls around and storms out. His literal coattails trailing behind him. I can't tell if they are a Victorian expired or a Guardian in nature. Amanda trots up to me with a t-shirt in her hand. Oh boy, here it comes. Oh no. Hey, Dad Tron 5000. Yes, I'll buy it for you. Wow, that was easy. Thanks. At least it's only one this time. Hey, he Pops a t-shirt onto the counter and grins at the cashier. Yeah. I love your hmm. hair. The cashier says nothing and rings Amanda a radiating hatred I hand her a 20. So what was that guy's deal? The cashier rolls her eyes so hard I'm worried she'll kill something. Jesus. That's Damien. He's in here all the time. He's obsessed He's obsessed with Victorian fashion or whatever. She hands Amanda her bag. It's clear the conversation is over. We make our way out of the store and head home to get some rest. I'm confused. What? If he's buying it online, wouldn't there be a picture of it? He could tell the difference before buying it. Maybe Amanda and I sit on the couch, trying to find something to watch over our bowls of ice cream. Oh, cool! Long Haul Paranormal Ice Road Ghost Truckers is on. Your favorite, right? Well, hell yes! They have to make it over the Canadian tundra before the ice road melts, but also they're hunting ghosts. Yeah. So they threw in all the history channels, just like... Also, the trucks are haunted. Clap. This is an episode I've already seen, but it's one of the best. Callum and Flint, Dogbone... The twin brother truck driving and ghost hunting duo find themselves in the greatest peril yet. Oh no, the ghost dung got control of the truck. I can't steer on them damn ice roads. Let me use this EVP meter to try and communicate with the spirits. Flint, we're about to die. Why are we southern? Uh, we aren't. Flint is. Why is Flint southern? Flint and Callum are southern. They're yeah. truck drivers. Yeah. Ah, almost got it. Okay. If you listen carefully to what it sounds like it's saying, you're gonna die. Hmm. That's because we're about to die, you... Ah. This is art. The episode ends, and Amanda excuses herself to go start arguments on the internet. I stay up a little Same. longer, curious about the exploits of Callum and Flint Dogbone after their disastrous road accident. Afterward, I crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep. That sounds nice. You don't do that, but that's not really Morning, sleepyhead. Five more minutes. You have never ever let me have five more minutes, so get up. Damn. Fine. Did you ever get five more minutes? We have cereal for breakfast and then spend the morning putting together furniture. Amanda is much better at interpreting than tiny what manuals. The fuck? We're able to put together. What are you wearing? A few shelves. But they're stretchy. But they're stretchy. Yeah. What? I don't know. They're, but there's... What? That's why she likes them so much. Do they have pockets? Butt pockets. Girls aren't allowed to have front pockets. <laughs> what? Yeah, that's a little unfair. I can't lie to you. That's just a little unfair. But I'm pretty sure it was supposed to be a bookcase with a few shelves and one desk. Huh. Oh, so, shit. are you excited for the cookout today? Uh, excited to beef up my grilling skills? See, this is a learning opportunity. If I can shake some hot grill tips, I think we can consider it a success. Mm -hmm. Do you okay. want to meet some people in this neighborhood? I'll probably end up standing uncomfortably in the corner with a plate of food and hope that nobody mm. talks to me. Dad. Like someone outside. No. You're a beautiful work what? in progress. We will get that butterfly to emerge yeah. from the cocoon. The social butterfly. Well, we better start getting ready. We definitely don't want to be what? late. What? No, we have to be fashionably late. Who shows up to a cookout on time? You know what? We're gonna be early, just because you said that. I was gonna say, white people, they show up on time. I head out the door, Amanda reluctantly follows. I shit you not. We walk across the street to Justice House with a store-bought veggies plate. <laughs> I'm a terrible cook if it doesn't involve a grill. Hmm. Like someone else. We're not as early as we thought we are. Just the backyard is already packed with people, and the smell of hot dogs wafts through the air. Small children run through a sprinkler, and adults chat in small clusters. I set our veggie plate down to the next to two other veggie plates. Huh. Hey, there's Joseph! I wait to get his attention. The moment he sees us, he jogs over, arms open wide. Oh. Welcome! I'm so too. Wow. I'm so too of the glad you are here. I'm so. That's, that's just what you said. Mm hmm. Oh. Okay. Yeah. You can, uh, 
that. <laughs> you asking me? Hi. Oh. You could do that for a second. I think my break was like. <laughs> did you not? Did you, was like, did strong you not, time. Did you not hear me earlier? On the series. No, it depends on the genre. Depends on the genre. This is Christian. This is Cri C Christy. They're twins. <laughs> they're so creepy. They're, they're, they're a shining reference. They're a shining reference. Right, we're gonna fix that. We're gonna fix that. They stare creepily, and say nothing. Then yeah. of course, the youngest, Kirsch, Krish, Krish. What the fuck kind of name? Wait, where's Krish? Maybe Mary put him in his crib. Oh no, it's the woman from the thing. bar from the other night. What's she doing here? What do you want? Oh, and how Drink. could I forget my lovely wife, Mary? Oh. Joseph perks up his cheeks. She smiles. Hex her on the cheek. She, she perks up her cheeks now, bitch. Ah, Mary, sweetheart, did you put Krish to bed? Mm hmm? I'll have to go look for him. Is a baby. Is Imagine Freya as a human. Um. My only question this is the woman that flirts with everybody, right? Pretty much, yeah. God damn. So. Oh, that's how you get with him. Wait, what? Like that's how you get with him. Like, like his way, I could have. No. She's a cheater. That's like, where she goes. Oh. Oh, oh. So you're saying we need to send him to the bar to get that dick too, so that way they can be wingman couple fucking other dads. <laughs> Hell yeah. Sherlock and now, that now, shit. Now, me, me being me, with them titties. I'm kind of big. For someone that's just like, look, she looks dead inside. She's yeah. a mom. Yeah, I was gonna so? say, she's a mom. So? There's milk. <laughs> I've seen flat chested women that have kids. She has a babby. So? Slyn had a babby. She's still flat chested. But she while babby, boobs go a little. What? You'll have to. Yeah. <laughs> I don't English very well. Joseph takes a moment and regains his composure. <laughs> Mary, this is our new neighbor, Githa, and his daughter, Amanda. That's never not going to be ah. fun. I'd shake your hand, but I have this glass of wine I need to attend to. Isn't all the anime you watch sub? How don't you English well? No, it's not. I love her. Ah, nice to meet you. Mary, for the first time. Charm. Well, I have to go over I have to go over there now. Mary leaves. Oh god, this is so awkward. I wonder if Joseph knows how I <laughs> I wonder if Joseph knows. I wonder if Mary knows that Joseph knows. I wonder if Joseph knows that Mary knows that I know. That Joseph knows. That Joseph knows. <laughs> it takes all of my energy not to run away from the barbecue and start fresh in a new city. Ha ha ha! My wife, she has a wonderful sense of humor. But please, you two, enjoy the barbecue. All the guys are really excited to meet you. We already met all the guys. Did we? Basically. Amanda and I mill around and try some of the foods put out on the table. I pick up some deviled eggs. Amanda grabs some small paper. Gra Amanda grabs a small paper plate and immediately begins with the baked goods. Ugh, I don't want to make friends. Ugh. Come on, Dad. Who are we going to party with when I go off to school? But I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to have party... Play, what the fuck is that? I don't want to have to do pleasantries. What are pleasantries? So how are you? You want to talk? No, I, I guess I'm doing okay. <laughs> oh, you don't want to do the thing... Americans do where our small talk is high, mm -hmm. high. When yeah. you know in other countries, like, so how's your mom? How's your kid? How's your dog? Is everything all right? You doing okay, pal? I'm worried about you. You know, mm -hmm. it's not it's not the black people when you walk the black person walking down the street see another black person. Uh, you know what I mean? No, I don't. Cause, I don't because I'm outside. Oh, yeah, right. Dad, what? It is. Not <laughs> oh, they're gonna talk about the weather. The weather's nice. Uh. Go. Do it. Make a friend. But how could I possibly abandon my only child in a social function? That's bad parenting. This plate of, this plate of cookies is my new dad. Bye. 
Damn. The man just shows me into the court, the center of the yard. Well, here goes nothing. I look around <clears throat> the party, and I'm surprised to see some familiar faces. Isn't that the barista from the coffee spoon? Didn't that meet that guy at the bar? Didn't that guy throw a frisbee at my head? Isn't that the guy who was throwing a fit at that at Dead Goth and Beyond? Isn't that Amanda's teacher? Hey, I'm a crick. But wait a second. All these people live in our cul de sac? This can't be right. I better investigate it. Alright, who, who are we talking to? Are we talking to Matt Hugo and Craig? They seem smart. Alright, we're we just gonna say flicking. Um. Are we gonna talk to people or we're we gonna say fucking eat? Uh. Let's What's a black dude's name, Matt, right? That's mm -hmm. one of them. Talk Matt to Matt, Hugo, Hugo and Craig. Those are all so, the black people. So talk to black people and mm. our friend. Matt and Craig seem to be embroiled in an intense discussion. They look like brothers. Matt and Hugo? That's racist. Not all black people. No! Look, look at their hair! <laughs> I, no, really I, that was making a joke. I was making a joke. Like so uh, Both of them have the same colored eyes. They're using, like, the same type of base glass. Like... Why the fuck is Kale? Well, they short and slightly untucked. Well, I think right? that's, that's, they all do. But yeah, but it's because of the face. Can we talk about how my dude was like, fuck being so socially appropriate? I'm wearing sweatpants every, well, everywhere. everywhere. Can I just say out. they grouped all the minorities in one little group? Oh. Oh my god! It's not wrong. My mind has. That's. I can't even watch this game. Matt and Hugo. Oh, I remember that. Can't even watch y'all play this. Craig looks on, smiling politely. I walk over to say hello. Where, where did the mouse go? Well, I don't think it's fair to try and compare two art movements like that. Oh my god. Periods in art only. Oh my god. Talking about art. Johnny, you know about art. You should read this. You do the art thing. Korea is an art only so exists you know because the they're a unique byproduct of the social and political the climate of time and place and to try to uh, try to take something you like, say the Rococo period, the and compare it to the postmodernism in America, you're completely disregarding the context in which a work of art is created. What is the Rococo period? What is the Rococo period? Talking, huh? But you're the art person, you're supposed to know about art stuff. What's the Rococo period? If you give me a piece of chicken, you can smack it. All right, then you can't smack me. I see the tension going up. I just need two. Matt and Hugo seem to be vi busy talking about. They don't notice me. Craig leans in. Dude, I have no idea what's going on. Talk to Craig. Let me talk to Craig. Turn my attention to Craig, who seems to be a little more attentive to <clears throat> my existence. Well, how resistance training goes the other day. Why is your baby? Great! Little River here is a great cheerleader, aren't you, Tiny Bro? He grabs River's arms and waves them around. I like that name. Oh. You can do it, Dad! I'm so proud of you! Sorry for pooping on you! <laughs> she must be a handful at that age. Oh. Oh, they always are. Hey! But it's so worth it. Craig grabs River's arms again and waves them around. Hmm. Also, I'm sorry for throwing up on you, Dad. Hmm. How you settling in? Um. We're awkward. Hmm. You never know when they're coming. I can't get too cozy in one place. I need to have a go bag near me at all times. Burner phone, hair dye, fake passport. You know the deal. Ellipses. Stay on your toes, bro. Get the! How are you liking the neighborhood? It's pretty nice. Everybody's been super friendly. Well, hey, yeah. Seems like your daughter's fitting in just fine. Matt points across the yard to where Amanda, Daisy, and another girl are young playing. They're all sitting cross legged in the grass, picking weeds and weaving them into little flower crowns. It's pretty adorable. A girl I don't know jogs over to us. Hey. What is it, sweetheart? It's a flower crown. I thought you looked cute in it. Oh. Well, there's only one way to find out. That takes the flower crown and places it on top of his head. Uh -huh. Am I cool now? 
Gross says it's thinking it over. Mmm, no. But you're slightly less uncool than you were before you put it on. Hey. Thanks. Hey, get that. This is my daughter. She looks like a fucking dweeb. She looks <laughs> like a what? A fucking dweeb. A dweeb. Hello. I'm Carmencita. What? <laughs> what? Well, I took it back from the camera to see what I've been doing. Amanda comes over with Daisy and Carl. Dad, look, I'm either. making friends. Are you making friends? You better be making friends. Yeah, actually, Amanda, you remember the cool barista from the coffee shop and my old college friend and uh, your teacher? Huh? Oh, hi, Mr. Vega. I didn't realize we were neighbors. Ah. Yep. You still gonna get me that overdue term paper? Oh. <laughs> Great seeing you. Finger guns are way out of the conversation like a so, child. So she knows it's overdue. Why can't she be like, no? So you learned the finger gun moves from me? I'm very proud. Oh. She's definitely a charmer. Speaking of which, where did my son go? Sweet Manchego! Hugo looks around the party. He must Sweet finally spot him because his eyes go wide. Sweet Manchego! Ernest! Ernest Hemingway Vega! Are you oh. smoking? Why does he hate his son? He is holding a lit cigarette. Nope. I see Ernest across the way. He casually takes a long draw out of a cigarette and then flips um. it into a gutter. Unbelievable. Excuse me. I turn my attention to Matt and Craig. Kids, right? Man, I do not envy you here. The last barbecue we had, Ernest tried to shove a sparkler down Joseph's pants. Nearly burned down half the yard. And the barbecue we had before that, he actually burned down half the yard. And then spread it on a mylon and down, burned down half of my yard, too. <sighs> This little pubescent fucking teenager is smoking? He tries to shove a uh, sparkler down your pants. What do you do? Bruh, it's turning into an Alex versus fucking Yurian fight. I'm gonna parry the fuck out this man, clothesline him, and then power bomb him into the ground. Why would you invite him back? Right? Oh. <laughs> I I'm, guess he's I'm, just trying to be nice. No! Like... You put a, If you try to put a sprinkler on my pants, beat the fuck out of you! I'm gonna cook you! Hey everybody, sorry about that. Get the. This is my son, Ernest. Hello. Ernest looks away sulking, hands sh shoved deep into his pockets. Hugo nudges him impatiently. Hey. Nice to meet you, Ernest. What grade are you? Doesn't matter. Oh. Ernest. Okay, okay, I'm in the eighth grade. Are you happy now? I'm sure you were just dying to know. Uh, yeah, good for you. Hmm. Can I go now? I'm tired of talking to old dudes who blame my generation for the failing economy. Eh. Ouch. Ernest! Oh yeah, because I'm totally embarrassing you. He puts earbuds in and storms off the sand corner. Well, that was certainly something. He seems nice! Yeah, they know He nice. He puts his head in his hands and sides. Hmm? I'm so sorry. He's having a really rough time. As much as I want to be the cool dad, I have to be the authoritarian dad, and he clearly resents me for it. Hmm. I mean, I think as a dad and a teacher, that's about as authoritarian as you can get. Hmm. Cop. Jail sergeant. Honestly, are any of us cool dads? Is it even possible to be a cool dad? Yes, it is. What? I'm cool as a cucumber. Uh -huh. See? That right there. You can't say that. Oh. My dad, my kids think I'm cool. But for how long, Craig? How long do we get to be the cool dads? I don't know. I, uh... I don't know. Oh. I think we just have to accept the fate that is dads? We've become the machine we once raged against and accepted our fate as an unironically wear with socks and sandals. Your kids may think you're cool now, but the moment they hit puberty, you're doomed. Did you see the vampire? Amanda's 18 and she still thinks I'm cool. I yell across the yard to my daughter. Amanda! I'm cool, right? Amanda just laughs. She keeps laughing. I see your point. Um. As much as we all want it, I don't think it's as important to be a cool dad as it is to be a good dad. We can't all be best friends with our kids. It just doesn't work. I mean, look at me in earnest. I know what you want to know. What the fuck are you doing? Cleaning the barbecue sauce off of my shorts. Okay. Yeah, sanitizer. Okay. I think it's better. I don't got no fucking, like, towel or nothing. Why do you have a hat on? The hand sanitizer. 
Where are you about to go? I do got the socks and the shoes on and a hat. Where are you where are you putting the hat on to? I just don't like cause I know my mom I don't know when my mom's gonna be on the way because I can't talk to her. But I know she's going she's on the way. I can't talk to her, he says. You have a phone. I have a phone. Shawnee has a phone. Two goddamn house phones over there. I no, I can't talk to my mom. I haven't talked to her in two days. It's been peaceful. I haven't talked to anybody besides you guys in two days. And what I'm saying is, I don't think I'm ah. ever going to charge my phone back up. <laughs> our job as parents is to make sure our kids turn out okay. I don't, I don't see this number, so just don't Yeah, you're right. But it'd be nice to have it both ways. Hearing these guys talk about this makes me think of my relationship with Amanda. We get along so well, but there might come a time when it won't be like that. Is college when that mm. happens? Don't let us eat your time up, Githa. Go meet some of the other people around the neighborhood. Um. Spot the vampire guy. Spot Joseph chatting with the guy from Dead Gotham Beyond at the grill. I wonder what they're talking about. I walk over to him. <coughs> White evil shit. So I'm curious, can you walk me through why you had your house painted black? Where do I even start? The house stays warmer in the winter, it provides an artistic contrast to the rest of the neighborhood, and it complements the crimson interior perfectly. That's best stuff. It's definitely an uh, all good interesting oh, choice. Thank you, I'm very happy of my, or I'm very proud of my abode. <laughs> Get the, I was just having a conversation with Damien about his aesthetic design decisions. Damien regards me up and down with a warm but critical eye. Hmm. How do you do? I don't believe I've had the pleasure. I think I saw you in Dead Goth and Beyond the other day. Damien's face turns bright red. I must apologize for my behavior on that day. You see, I take the goth lifestyle very seriously. And to be caught in a ruse by such a corporation as Dead Goth and Beyond was profoundly frustrating indeed. Hmm. I hope you know that while my anger may have been justified, it was no way for such a gentleman to act. It's, uh, it's okay, man. <laughs> Do tell me about yourself. Are you new to the area? Yes! My daughter and I just moved in the other day. She was the one I took to dead goth me up. <laughs> Very good taste on her part. Does she partake in the goth lifestyle? I think for herself. And I look over to Amanda, who's hanging out with some of the older kids in the neighborhood. What? Hey Amanda, would you consider yourself goth? Amanda yells back. I wouldn't necessarily try to fall under any one specific label, but if I had to guess, I would describe myself more as a twee hipster with some normcore leanings. That's a cool though. Hmm. The fuck does any of that mean? Ah, pity. Hmm. No, do you? Are you enjoying the lifestyle, or are you enjoying the party so far? <laughs> well, shit. Oh, I definitely think so much for putting this on. It's nice to be in a cul-de-sac where everyone's so friendly and welcoming. I mean, it walks up to the conversation. I also lost, like the Lost Boys a lot. Really good movie. Was that kind of scoff? <laughs> no. That it would, my dear. I don't believe we've had the pleasure of meeting. Damien Bloodmarch, at your service. The Lost Boys. Damien finishes the sentence with a flourish and a bow, producing a single heart rose heart. and offering it to Amanda. Eh? Amanda blushes and returns the gesture with a curtsy. <laughs> my... Do you know how to treat ladies? What? Hello, Amanda. Seemingly out of nowhere, Joseph's twin kids appear. Uh, are they speaking in unison? Mm -hmm. Uh, hey. Won't you come play with us? Hmm. Uh, come play with us. Forever. <coughs> Guys, enough with the creepy twin shtick. We've talked about yeah. this. The twins slowly black away. Where do you think they got that from? <laughs> Mary pops into the conversation. <laughs> Why does she always have wine? She's an alcoholic. What should we say? Leave the wine off. Uh, oh. I, uh, I don't know. Mary takes a long sip of the wine. <laughs> I think I might have taped over the VeggieTales VHS with The Shining. Who knows? She takes another sip of her wine. Hmm. Where's Krish? Come on. Wasn't he with you? <laughs> you had him a moment ago. Uh, He's probably stuffing dirt in his mouth. He'll be alright. Toddlers are pretty resilient. Facts. Hmm? Mary tips her glass to me. Ain't my first time at the rodeo. It's my fourth. Uh, I have squeezed four uh, little... Sweetheart, would you do me a favor and please find Krish? That would be cool. Hmm. Sure, he's yeah. fine. 
Mary. More. Okay, cheese. Yeah. Who's the fourth one? The oldest. The oldest, the twins, and the baby. Have you seen the oldest one yet? No, that's later. Mary finishes her wine and wanders off. Dad, can we go now? Oh, uh, Lucian, have I introduced you to get the yet? Uh, hey, it's a punk from Amanda's school. I remember you. Whatever. Can you kick this man? It's my way for a young man to speak to his elders. Be polite. Lucian bows. Whatever, sir. <laughs> Lucian bows can you again. This man's ass. Mr. Christensen, may I have a veggie burger, sir? <laughs> Come right up, bud. Are you a vegetarian? Yep. <laughs> Make that two veggie burgers. Did you know that some people in the Victorian area were vegetarians? They described carnivorous type people as blood lappers. Dad. Hey. That's really interesting, Damien. Joseph turns to the girl. Just a hint of a tattoo peeks out from underneath his sleeve. Can't believe I didn't notice before. It looks like the bottom of an anchor. Whoa. Is that a tattoo? Whoa. Yep. I wasn't always a youth pastor, you know? It's so cool. Wanna see mine? <sighs> what? Lucian pulls back some roller brakes to reveal a lopsided 666 in black ink. My brother gave me a stick and poke tattoo last week. I think it's healing up pretty good. Lucian! We'll talk yeah. about this later. It's pretty cool. What's the significance of the tattoo? I don't know. I just thought it looked sick. Well, in my opinion, the only reason you need to get a tattoo is because you want one. Careful, though. That number carries weight. Man, Joseph is way cooler youth pastor than I thought. I just figured youth pastors popped out the womb with a Bible. <laughs> I wonder what he did before preaching. Like, do, 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 the, do, do the wives eat the Bible? Like, as the baby develops? Or does it like develop? Did you talk to the last people? Or I got him? Yeah. All of the people. No, we hungry. We fat. We hungry. All talk the to the people. I glance across the yard and notice yeah, Robert and Brian chatting over drinks. Robert. Man, I don't want to deal with being robbed by Brian or whatever happened with Robert last night. Oh no, they caught me staring. Oh no, Brian's waving me over. I flash a smile and walk over to him. Hey. Is he not going to look too? Because he always has a glass of whiskey. Get the... Yeah, how the heck are you? Yes, settling into the neighborhood. Oh, wait, how's he right? failure? <laughs> oh, you betcha. Got the living room in order at least. Mm. That's great to hear. I've been doing some living room work as well. Well, I got the 50 inch in there. The game looks great and high def. Oh boy. Get the, have you met Robert yet? Kinda. Yeah, we've met. Robert regards me with his whiskey. Good seeing you again. So, we were just talking about my most recent camping trip. Spent the night in the woods with Daisy and Maxwell. She's definitely an outdoorsy one. Even caught her first fish. <laughs> Good to see you taking your daughter out like that. I bet she loved it. <laughs> This made a smile for a second. And it's great that she loves the outdoors. Brian loves being inside. Well. Brian raises his eyebrows at me. Being inside making art? She won a local championship for that art. Yep. <sighs> Did I put it on too strongly? Maybe. Robert stares at me blankly for a second. Yeah. Really? Anyway, I haven't gone camping in years. Not since the last time. Same here. Well, things change once you have kid. Wait, what happened hey. last time? Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Well, old Johnny Boy and me were out in the back country. Johnny Boy's a strong kid and met him in my army days. He comes from Kansas. They build him tougher out there. Anyways, things go po south pretty quick. Johnny Boy breaks his ankle when the rope bridge snaps. You can see the bone popping out through the skin. Johnny Boy's screaming now, crying for his mama, losing blood. We're two days out from the next living soul, and here I am with a dear friend bleeding out in front of me. I'm able to dress the wound, but now I got a fireman carry a six foot, 180 pound man over some of the toughest terrain I've ever been in. Mm -hmm. I won't lie to you. I remember during those days when I thought about leaving old Johnny Boy. But you built a bond with a brother in arms, and that bond never breaks. I got that boy back to the civilization. I lost some of me out there. Mm -hmm. I guess that's camping for you. <laughs> Brian and I stare in disbelief. Robert takes a long sip of whiskey. Hey, what movie is that from? I'm just kidding. My friend John and I went inner tubing down a river and that lost a flip flop. Missed that kid. Hey. Robert and I laugh, <laughs> or Brian and wait, I laugh nervously. Wait. Hmm? Or am I kidding? Brian and I tense up again. Oh. I'm kidding. <laughs> Whew. I mean, 
Amanda and Daisy barrel up to us laughing. Daisy is holding a paper plate in front of her that, like a steering wheel. We gotta get off this haunted trip. Oh no, the ghost locked the doors. Hey. Quirk, hit the emergency escape button. Injected. Our trucks don't have the emergency <sighs> escape buttons. Oh, and then hit the brake, I guess, and then we'll just oh. get out the truck. The imaginary truck. Anyway, we're safe from ghosts, but how will we ever survive this arctic tundra? Daisy, you might have to eat me. Are you prepared to do that? I'm prepared to do anything to survive. What can I say? I thought to say eat anything for a second. It's called blooded. I like that. Although I'm not sure I have the materials to properly cook you. Mm. You know, that reminds me of the last time I went skiing. Robert! Uh. Wait a second, are you guys playing Long Haul Ice Road Paranormal tra Ghost Truckers? Yeah, man, and I love that show. It's the best, especially the episode where Callum hides Flint's keys and Flint retaliates by breaking an ancient cursed urn and sending the spirit after him. Yeah, it's such quality reality television. I get a tissue. I don't watch a whole lot of television, but I do enjoy that show. That and war documentaries. <laughs> Alright, Daisy, found us a couple of books. Found us a couple of bugs, we're just gonna... Oh my god. We're just gonna have to make a good, we're gonna make a great meal, lots of protein, gonna keep up, keep us from starving out there in a harsh, icy wasteland. What the fuck are you doing? Oh. But there's a whole table of food right over there. Daisy, once again, we're pretending. Oh, that's what kids do. Live a little. Amanda gives Daisy a, a handful of gummy gummy wor worms from the snack table. They eat them in mock disgust. Let's go find Kimberly for a fire. Oh no. All right. Okay. Oh no. But not an actual fire. I guess we're playing for time. Hey. No, you're getting it. Oh no. Daisy and Amanda run off. What a cute couple of kids. Uh -huh. Man, I've never seen her get along with someone so quickly. I guess Amanda just has that sort of way with kids. Wait. Yeah. That's kind of amazing. Daisy doesn't really get along with kids her age. Really? Hmm. It's nice that he's not trying to one-up me this time. Maybe we can have a regular friendship after all. Really? She just kind of keeps to herself. Her teacher sends the say that she spends every recess in the library. I think the other kids are intimidated by her intelligence. There it is. I wouldn't worry about it too much. Amanda was shy at Daisy's age, too. She used to have a habit of crawling under tables and crying any time we took her to a restaurant. At ten? She bit people, too. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> kids, right? Gotta love them. You're required to by law. Yeah. I hear that. Well, since they're getting along so well, maybe we should try to put together a little play date for them. They do seem to get along really well, but the thought of continually hearing about old Brian's accomplishments is rough. Hey. Yeah, that'd be nice. Well, I don't want to take up too much of their time. Go meet some of the other fellows. Without further ado, let's work some magic! Good. Yeah. Pretty. Joseph closes his eyes, takes a deep breath, and gets to work. With the greatest of ease, he sets the patties on the grill. Flourishing. As he flips the spatula in the air, it's easily some of the best grill work I've ever seen. <laughs> you guys think it's my first time in front of a grill? He's working fashion now, effortlessly tossing cheese onto the patties, perfectly grilling onions on the side, one after another. The dads notice and take crowd around Joseph to admire his masterful mm. technique. Probably didn't know this yet, though, but Joseph's known around here for his grillmanship. Oh. He's ungrillievable. Bro. I've tried to get on this level, but I just can't catch up. Oh. Let us keep <laughs> studying. He has a rare quality about him. <laughs> Mustard, we keep talking about this. Can't we just appreciate the artist? Hey. <laughs> I've never seen him make a mistake. Hey. Okay, we need to stop. This is getting too cheesy. <laughs> Please stop. All the children at the party boo at the glorious display of puns yeah. in unison. All right, guys, the food's ready. Please form an orderly barbecue. Amanda groans. We all grab our food and head out, enjoying perfectly cooked cheeseburgers. Hey. Man, it's so wild how all of us dads live in the same cul-de-sac. Kind of nice, isn't it? 
feels like there's a real community here. It totally helps whenever you're just a single dad trying to raise a kid. Ooh. We're happy to have you here, man. I think you're going to like this neighborhood a lot. Hmm? Plus, Amanda seems to be getting along with all the kids. If she decides to get into the babysitting game, she'll really make a killing. Huh. Hey, why don't you add us all on Dad Book? What? Dad Book. Huh. Yeah, it's a great social network for dads to keep in touch with each other. We're all on it, so if you ever need to reach out to someone, that's the simplest oh. way to do it. I can't answer your question. Sorry, I'm just an old-fashioned dad, so social media goes on my head sometimes. Don't worry, Pops, I'll help you figure it out. The rest of the barbecue goes smoothly. We all trade stories and drink beers. Our kids play on the lawn. Amanda breaks up a fight between Carmen Sita and those weird twins. I think they wanted her soul. <laughs> You're still disgusting. Mm-hmm. Amanda and I walk back to our place as the sun sets over the neighborhood. <laughs> Pretty fun party, don't you think? Yeah, it was that. Right. I mean, I got a burger in me. Sweetie, if I can impart any type of wisdom at you now, it's not that this was a bad situation, but if you're ever in an uncomfortable situation, always look for the silver lining. Silver lining get you through to the other side. We ain't rocking burgers today. That was good. Uh -huh. Amen. Well, hey, at least you met some of the other cool dads. Maybe I'll make friends. Maybe I will. If I ever figure out how social media works. I have a good feeling about this place. Me too, Dad. Me too. Hmm. Amanda and I arrive at home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm. Looks like nobody was really into the cauliflower. Can we make plans for this evening? So yeah, going out with some friends. Hmm. Oh. Is that okay? Of course, just keep me posted and be home hmm. before midnight. You got it. And be careful. I will. Make good choices, yeah. of course. Call me if you need yeah. anything. Dad. I'm not gonna do the thing where you wait for me silently to come home in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No, I've never done that, and I never will. Okay, do you have plans tonight? I, um... My plans were kinda to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna... Go party! See how long I can sleep for. That sounds like something we would try. Work Which on one, little one? Work on some stuff. Just like a nuclear party after we just got back from the party. A real rager. All the other dads in the neighborhood are invited. Let's see if I can get your spot on this one. Honestly, it's looking tight and you may just have to wait in line. Nah. I know the guy at the door. I'll get in no problem. Just relaxing tonight. Have fun, huh. okay? Great, see you later. Watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some Wine and Dine Mastermind with celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. Sounds good. I'd love to be able to cook like that, although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil. I'd just make, like, baked Alaskas all day instead of any food with real nutritional substance. What the fuck is a baked Alaska? Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional. I lose track of time as I blaze through several episodes of Wine and Dine and Mastermind, and also one episode of some cooking show called Meat Hell. I'm not even sure that one was about, it was just a lot of yelling. Mm. I can lots on my watch. <laughs> Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I sent a text. Hey kiddo, you good? I wander into the kitchen, I waited for wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond. She, unless she's driving home now, in which case I hope she doesn't respond soon, because it's definitely... Because I definitely taught her better than to text and drive. I reach into the freezer, grab an ice cream sandwich, a little late for this, but uh, I think I'd earned it after a long day of socializing. Check my watch, and then my phone. Nothing yet. Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, no, it's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. No comment. What's up? An hour passes. Looks like baked ice cream. It's basically. Yeah. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meat Hell are not only not assaulting uh, my anxiety, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling. So I keep pacing around the house waiting for her to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who she was even with? Why don't I know any of her friends' numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Who is Emma P? Send so her another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could have happened to her. 
Oh, thank God it's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally. Finally she's back home. I'm glad she's okay. Sup, sweetie. Thank God you're safe. Uh, yep. But now I know that she's okay. I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my texts? Amanda pulls her phone out of her pocket. Oh, whoops. I didn't see those. Starts to walk to her room. Amanda Ann. Hmm. Oh, we're pulling out the middle name now? Amanda, you came home an hour and a half after curfew. You didn't respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? We'll go with the middle one because of uh, recent experience with your mother. You're my only daughter. Yeah. Well, I can't give you a play-by-play -play of everything I do all the time. I'm 18. You shouldn't even be giving me a curfew in the first place. I sit down on the couch and I put my hands, my head in my hands. I feel tired all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just please don't do uh, that again. Uh. All right, I'm gonna go to bed now. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. Jesus, I'm falling asleep. One thing she said keeps echoing in my mind. You're not going to be like this when I go off to school, are you? I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brew some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace uh. offering. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Uh. Hey. I thought about what you said last mm. night. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think uh. about it. I'm really sorry, Pops. I won't do it again. Well... I don't know. I shouldn't have gotten so worked up. Team Dick? <laughs> oh, yeah! Team Dick. Amanda gives me a hug. Want some eggs? Ah. You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on them? Already did. Yes. Bless you. Amanda scarfs down the eggs in, times, in the time that it takes me to yeah. wash the pan. Alright, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing mm. before you go. What? Ugh. What's Dad Book? It's a social media platform. Hmm? Wait, what? What's a social media platform? <laughs> dad, I have to go to school. Come on, man, I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile hmm. on my own. All right, I'll help you sound yeah. interesting on the internet. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile on dad book, which as it turns out is a place where dads can get together and talk <laughs> about fatherhood. All right, Pops, we gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. Friday night, and you are most likely to. Yeah, plug some grill, baby. Fall asleep watching the History Channel. Torment my kids with dad puns. Sink in the blissful oblivion. Dad puns. And they're blissful grill, baby. Well, that's what I would do. I mean, if, if I'm gonna be stuck in the house on Friday night with the kids, I'm gonna subject them to my torture so man. If you have one thing to take on you with a desert island, what would it be? <laughs> a boat, obviously. Um. What are your turn ons? <laughs> I mean, we are gay. We are the gays, Dad. What did you want to be when you grew up? A pro skater who was also an astronaut. How do you even? <laughs> That's it. What was your favorite movie movie genre? Hell yeah. Would I go and make them cry? I mean, that, that's a that, that's a this one's favorite. Uh uh. Old comedies that haven't aged well. So? I don't watch that movie, many movies that make me cry. My favorite's four. Rewind it, those movies are true. Nothing. It's a series. series. It's a series. <coughs> They're anime movie shows. Fucking fairy tale comedy. See, that 
wasn't so bad. Yeah, it was actually kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking yeah. at people's profiles. Just to message one of them. Or more than one of them. All these stats seem pretty interesting. Okay, I promise I'll make some friends. The man that gives me a heart. Go get him, Dad. Welcome. You've got dads. What's your favorite movie genre? Shit with subtitles. <laughs> Alright, so whose pants are we gonna try to get into? Craig's up to you today. I navigate Craig's dad book profile and type out a message. Hey bro, or should I say neighbor, let's catch up like old times. A couple moments to happen before I hear a ding on the computer. It's a message from Craig. That was quick. Bro, oh, my man. Let's definitely hang soon. Might be a little different from our old weekend long fenders, but it'll still be fun. Think for a moment. This could be a fun opportunity to see my, my old button is all in exchange a couple more messages before he hops to prep off for the game. I should see if Amanda wants to join me. I'll walk up to Amanda's room and knock on the door. Yo, Amanda Panda! Mm -hmm. I open the door to find Amanda sitting cross-legged on the floor, surrounded by magazines, newspaper clippings. She seems to be making some sort of art piece, but her eyes are a little puppy, almost as if she's been crying. Oh. Hey, you alright? I'm fine. Yeah, I'm fine. Ah. I just got sad because I realized that dogs are too often killed off in the movies to elicit emotional reactions from the audience instead of being given the proper respect that they deserve. It's not right. It's not wrong. You have to tell me what's actually wrong. Why are you lying to me? Hmm. I'm not. I'm perfectly fine. I don't believe her, but I let it go for now. What you working on? Just a collage for class. I was supposed to make a piece that represents our goals for the future. Let's take a closer look at her collage. It's a lot of dogs. It's mostly dogs, yeah. Did you need something? Craig invited us to a softball game. Wanna go? Uh -huh. I know one time you signed me up for softball, you bought all the gear, and then you took me to my first game, and then someone hit a ball towards me, and I just ran off the field crying. And then you hid in the dugout and would scream if I tried to pick you up? Yes. I was afraid of baseballs. I thought you were a gigantic, sentient softball. So does that mean you don't want to go? Amanda gets up and looks me dead in the eye, determined. Finally ready to face my fears head on. Let's do this! Yeah. I'm gonna use a restroom real quick. I'm gonna keep going. <laughs> 
you want, go ahead. I'll watch it. You're... What? You don't... <sighs> ben and I <clears throat> make short drive to the local softball field. For our kids' softball game, it's pretty packed. We clamber up to the bleachers and take our seats on the top row. I don't see Craig anywhere. Ugh. So when do kids start crying and running off the field? You know that, that your relationship with the softball is different from everyone else's relationship with the softball, right? Okay. But if I don't see... Ugh, if I don't see some kids cry, some kid cry, I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Hmm. For nostalgia purposes, of course. Not because I take joy out of children. Right? Right? I left children fighting for my entertainment. Ah. Definitely not. Definitely not that. The game starts and the kids run out onto the field. I see Craig by the dugout with a clipboard. He has a river strap on his chest as per usual. There's a guy in a pancake costume doing jumping jacks across the field. I'm, I'll guess that's the mascot. Reading the kids' brightly colored jerseys, I see that... It's the Maple Bay Flapjacks against the Pinewood Ocelots. Go Flapjacks? Oh man. Choke up on that bat, Miranda. Yeah, Miranda, square off. How do you know about softball? How much do you know about softball? Enough to, ha enough to know that the balls are <laughs> relatively hard despite their names. Uh -huh. But yelling is fun. <laughs> Give it a shot. It's cathartic. Trying to go every yellow. <laughs> Shiny, what, what, what are you going to yell? That last one. <laughs> Leave it all on the field, Miranda. If you want this, you're going to have to bleed for it. Well, I assume being Miranda's father gives me a dirty look. I shoot back at him. That attitude isn't going to bring Miranda to D1. Uh -huh. Dad, please don't fight with the other dads while we're out here. We watch a couple of innings of softball. They aren't ready for the major leagues yet. But Craig's tra trained his team pretty well. It seems like he's really good with kids. Craig saying Craig good with children. Whoa. Ah. It's amazing how, how hard they're hitting the ball and how no one went off the field crying yet. Amanda, dear, you have to let it go. Mm -hmm. Let what go? I'm perfectly fine. The opposing team up to bat is up to bat. They hit a fly ball into the corner field. The tiny girl tries to get under the ball. It misses it misses her gloves and hits her square in the forehead. <gasps> See? It's completely justifiable fear. The girl plops on the grass and starts crying. Craig makes a beeline to her, shaking her forehead and comforting her until her parents arrive. He carries her out to the carries her out of the field as she sobs. Man, it's strange to think how that guy was who get the guy who wants Backflipped off the top of a roof into a pool while shotgunning a beer is so responsible now. How the fuck I, I want to achieve that level of quality in our girl. The game resumes after the game. The girl calms down a bit and we watch a couple of a couple more innings. Craig's team is crushing the other team in the ninth inning. The Ocelot seem to have given up at this point. I see one outfielder eating fistfuls of grass. The batter on the other team knocks a foul ball into the stands. I follow the trajectory and... Oh no, it's coming right for me. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I close my eyes and brace for impact. Ellipses. I open my eyes to see Amanda holding the softball, staring right, staring at it in amazement. I caught the ball. You saved me. Yeah. I caught the ball. Dad, I caught the ball. You did it, Amanda. I faced my fears. I defeated the softball. I can do anything. Amanda and I share a big hug. It's a tender moment, and I don't think anyone else is watching. Would I don't think anyone else watching would really understand. I'm proud of you, kiddo. The game ends, and Craig's team is declared the victors. We sit patiently as the girls line up to shake hands. Mm -hmm. Great job, everyone. We walk over to the dugout to congratulate Craig. He was talking with some of the parents. Craig! Great work, man. Oh. Thanks. You've been working hard all season. It's great to see it's great to see it paying off. I'm so proud of all my girls. Speaking of which, have you met Br 
Briar and Hazel. The one with Briar. Hello! Hey, killer playing out there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys rule. Thank you. You guys are twins, huh? So which one of you is the evil one? Hazel. Ellipses. Yeah, it's me. Ah. Uh. Good looking out. Oh. You guys aren't pretending to be each other. I don't have a twin, so I think if I did, I'd do it consistently. Yeah, take over math tests. But yeah, math is quiet. <clears throat> I usually throw I usually throw rocks and stuff when people get mad and I tell them I'm br I'm brighter. What? Mm -hmm. We will talk about this later. Get the bro. I have a couple more things to clean up. I think we can hang. Sounds good. Just then, one of the moms jumps into the conversation. Not so fast. We have to celebrate our win, Craig. I'm getting the whole. I'm taking the whole team out for pizza. Oh man. Oh, I don't know if I can. Nonsense. The girls won. What sort of celebration would we have without our fearless leader? She lays her hand. She lays her hand on his shoulder, and gives him goo goo eyes. Man, this mom is laying it on thick. <laughs> Man and I share a stare. Mm. Share a look. I was looking. All right, all right. If it's cool, if bro comes along. The mom looks slightly put out, but covers it up with a smile. Of course. Mm. Where are we going? There's thirsty pizza. Why is that? What? Oh. What? It's a real place. There's this pizza. An endless stream of girls cl cl clad in softball gear pile in pile out of the minivan and into the local pizza buffet. Oh god, it's CC's. Which is actually called Thirsty's Pizza. And man and I trail behind them with Craig. Oh god, it's CC's. Reminds me of all that awful pizza we put into our bodies back in the day. Mm. Remember how we used to just fold whole pies in half and then put taco fillings in them? Ah! Pizzacos! How could I forget? Ellipses! How did we survive college? Mm -hmm. Our bodies were younger back then, more elastic, more able to handle the toxic waste we put inside of us. The good old days. The kids run around playing their kid games, eating greasy food, and Amanda and I jump on a cup jump on a couple slices of mediocre pizza. Oh. Hey, give me a pizza of that. Oh my god. <laughs> hey. No, absolutely not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I strictly eat salad here. Oh, you can. <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for addressing the issue, hmm. Dad. A different mom walks up to us, talking to Craig as we as if we weren't even there. Craig, thank you so much for looking after our kids. My, my daughter tells me every day about how great you are. Mm. They have some more practice every day. <clears throat> I'm happy to I'm happy to look after them. It definitely helps when I have kids of my own. That I have kids of my own. It's been hard since Danielle left. Daniel left. I'm glad to know that my children have such a Strong male role model in their lives. Oh no, this one too. Amanda and I look at each other again. Craig gets it all from all angles, huh? Craig smiles sheepily. Oh. Thank you so much, dude. Craig holds his fist. Craig holds his fist up for a fist bump from the woman, and what I think is a maneuver to lighten the conversation. He looks super uncomfortable. I should throw a, I should throw him a bone here. Great. Shut the fuck up, dog. I think Teddy. All right, Charlie, which one? Tag team with the man. Give a man the an, another knowing. Why is look capitalized? And she hits <clears throat> she hits me back with a nod, and she understands. Amanda puts her hand in her stomach and gives me the upset puppy dog. Eyes. <sighs> Dad, I don't feel good. I think I ate too much pizza. Oh no, sweetie. I don't want... <laughs> You're not gonna projectile vomit everywhere, are you? <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to projectile vomit every everywhere right now. The words projectile vomit <laughs> right now usually seem to get everyone to clear out, but Martha isn't budging. <laughs> 
Back it up, Martha. Where's a splash zone? I drank a lot of orange juice this morning, and I'm fi it's feeling pretty acidic. You'll be fine. Amanda shoots me a worried look. This con's going sideways. I should have known that a mom of all people would be able to know. <laughs> this fake punk scam. Uh, well, I guess that I guess it went away. I'm fine now. Nothing's wrong. She turns her back on me. She turns her back on me to talk to Craig. So I'm taking Hazel and Ryder tonight for the sleepover. Mm -hmm. Yup, they're pretty excited about it. They, they'll keep them out of trouble, right? Oh, of course. But I've always you. I could always use help watching after everyone's kids tonight. If you're not doing anything. Wow. This this lady's going for the gold. Bro. Aha! I, I actually. It's actually, it'll actually be nice to have a night to myself in the river, but thanks for the invite. Ellipses. Hmm. Uh, Martha, you might want to grab your kid. She's stuffing pizza into a coin slot. Martha angrily turns her attention towards her daughter. Tiffany! Not another arcade machine! I swear, if we have to buy it! Martha storms off with her towards her kid. She seems nice. Oh. Yeah. The team is a big one. Weird family. Takes all sorts, right? Tiffany, don't eat the tokens! Oh. Tiffany's a stellar hit hitter. Phew. I finally uh, think I have t time how to talk. Old is Tiffany's daughter? Uh, who? Martha's? Uh, oh, she's on the softball team? With these daughters? I'm gonna assume they're all the same age except for. Uh, Why the Amanda. fuck? When did? Are they stuffing pizza? Hey man. Eating tokens. Hey man. At that age. Hey man, kids are weird. Well, maybe it's an act of rebellion. A, a, I guess. A cry for help, Johnny. They, they need their. They need attention from their mo mother and father. My mom's abusive. Help me. I'm. I'm not gonna. That's true. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Man, you're a busy guy. Nice. Huh? nice. Only on days like today. I hope. Dad! Hmm. Hey, girls. Dad, can you help us beat our, beat our record on DDR? Oh my god, the stereotypes. We told the man, we, we, told, we told Ariana's dad that you could destroy him on the dance mat. Please help. I don't know. Girls, you, <laughs> you know I don't take my jukes. I don't have my jukes anymore. But, Dad. Craig looks at me like a hurt puppy. Oh. Sorry, dude. Goody calls. I promise we'll catch up in a bit. It's all good, buddy. It's so racist. Craig runs off with his daughters, and I'm, I'm left alone with mine. Man, I was really hoping to hang up with Craig more today, but it seems like he's getting dragged in every direction. Probably, <clears throat> it probably wouldn't like this. It, it definitely wasn't like this in college. I feel like we might be a third wheel here. Uh. There's worse places than an arcade to be left to your own devices. You're right. Wanna drop some coin on pinball? You know it. Men and I pull up a machine pull up to a machine that's pretty hot. And get to work. I'm a little rusty, but the pinball wizard within me will never die. I pull out a decent score and then challenge a man to the top line. And immediately she gets multi ball. Looks like she's taking after her father. You're pretty good. Aww. Don't patronize me. Hey, just trying to pay a compliment. Amanda sh shushes me. She's in her zen mode. She finds value in racking up points by the millions. She's this close to beating my score. I f but I, I feel honored just to watch, to be able to watch. English is hard. You're friends with Craig, right? Je Janet, mm, Janet from earlier walks up and leans on the pinball machine. Uh, yeah. We went to college together. <sighs> Please don't lean on my thing. Huh? That's so interesting. So, do you know if he's, like, available? Oh, I honestly don't know if I could say. Mm. Seriously, we're gonna make it tilt. Because, it's just, he seems, it seems like so much work to look after his kids. Don't you think it would be great if he, mm. lady, I swear to God. All of a sudden, a buzzer sounds, and the game is over. Jeanette made, Jeanette made the pinball machine tilt. Oh, 
Oopsies. What? You stone harpy. What? Dad. I said I have to go over there now and put pizza in my mouth so I don't say anything that will hurt your feelings. Amanda! Hey! What the fuck was that? Bro! What's going on? Now's our chance. If we don't get out of here, we'll be stuck for the rest of the night. Oh, I wrangle them. I wrangle Amanda and say. At all these? Yeah. Holy shit! What? Oh yeah, I've seen that. I can't do that. What? All these is higher money. for a, 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 a lot of money. Twelve twenty-five an hour. If you end up making it to shift manager, it's seventeen an hour. Assistant manager is eighteen. Manager trainees twenty-three fifty an hour. So wait yeah, a minute. You want to go down there Monday? Wait a minute. That, that doesn't make sense. What? Ma how does a manager like training? Manager training. I'd, oh, tra oh, the actual training. Not. Here's how you do it. First thing you change the manual. Yeah. It sounded like you said manager training. I was like, wait a minute. I wrangle Amanda and say some quick goodbyes to Craig. We head to the pizza place finally. Well, how much do you get paid if you're not a manager? Twelve dollars. Twelve twenty-five. No, I mean like just a regular worker. Twelve twenty-five. But you said manager. Managers make twenty-three fifty. Let me see again. Oh. I got Look. this. I got the regular favorite. Part. Store associates. Twelve twenty-five an hour. Uh, who's that yours? My mom. Of course you. It's on Facebook. Yeah. I'm it's on Facebook. No, I'm surprised you didn't see it. Like all these? Yeah. It says all Ohio, all these locations. Hiring event will be happening Monday, August twenty-eighth, seven a.m. to five p.m. I'll be at school hating my life. I got to read my favorite part. I'm happy. I mean, don't mind bringing me back here, bro. I don't know, dude. It's good to finally get you to all to myself for a second. River burps. Same. Well, almost over myself. <laughs> Hold up. Craig walks over to the trunk of the car and pulls out two gloves and a softball. Oh. Up to some catch. There's like four left. Oh, okay. Put them in the fridge. I'll eat them tomorrow. This might be less more catch than you throwing a ball and me running after it, but sure. We stand in the middle of the empty field and start tossing the ball back and forth. I have a cooler in my car that we could grab, but there's only juice boxes in there. Man, fatherhood is strange. Mm. That's all on me. I can't believe I'm looking back on my Craig, my keg stand Craig days and reminiscing about it. Those are some good times. I don't know anyone else who could pull off a rare horizontal keg stand. It was a feat of discipline, bro. Trust me. I haven't properly hung out with Craig in so long. I don't even know where to begin. So, uh, what is it? Can't believe you're a father of three. How can I? You know me, I'm an indecisive person. You switched your major four times. Oh. Yeah, I had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. The raising kids, when Briar and Hazel were born, it finally all made sense. It was like all that time I had spent trying to figure out things to do led to them. I couldn't be happier about it. I don't think I've ever cared about anything as much as I care about them. I had the exact same feeling when Amanda was born. Yeah. was the best thing that could ever happen to me and it can only and it could be the only thing that would oh, yeah. ever happen to me if I would stay part of the life that I lived so is coach is that so is softball coach the life you wanted or was it the life that was thrust upon you oh. indeed what all well, middles hasn't in at first Brian and Hazel had so much energy that we just had to get them into sports but no one was there to run the team the more I did it, the more I saw that how much it meant to all the girls, and where you, there'd be a riot if I quit. I'd also be afraid of a bunch of tiny children with metal bands. Same. They're quick and they work as a team. I've trained them too well. They take you down like a pack of velociraptors on a T-Rex. You're not exactly. Oh, thank you. Hey. So you run a business now? Yep. We sell fitness gear, imports and exports mostly, but we're coming up with our own line of athleisure wear soon. I nod. I mostly use my sweatpants for watching TV and not, you know, sweating. Sounds like you'd make a killing. Mm. Okay. If you ever need athletic gear, I've got your bag. You could sponsor me. I'll rep your athleisure wear brand while I mow my lawn. That is the glamorous lifestyle we are catering to, mm. yes. It's nice out here. Quiet. Must be good to get away from the softball moms for a oh. bit, huh? Christ. Janet. 
Yeah, that was a, a lot. Are they always mm -hmm. like that? Actually, this wasn't nearly as bad. Yikes. Uh, I'm just so not interested in... Well, what are you oh. interested in? Oh. Peace and quiet. That hot, oh. hot silence. My ultimate sexual fantasy is sleeping in on a Saturday. Oh. But more seriously, I just can't get back into dating right now. Even if I wanted to, there's oh. no time. And I feel so comfortable trying to introduce a stranger into my girls' lives. They've already been through so much, and I just... I can't put them through that. Buddy, mm. I hear ya. So the moms can tell me all they want, but the girls are the top priority. <laughs> the last one. I want to do this one just because, like... A wise man once said that. I'm quoting myself. Copyright. Thanks, dude. While I'm distracted, I missed a softball, and it hits me right on the head. Wow, that hurts. Amanda was right all along. Sorry, dude. Craig runs over to me. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Wait, let me do the dad thing for a second. Craig spends a moment examining my head. First than I thought. Don't tell me you have to kiss to make it better. You wouldn't be so lucky. I feel like I've earned it at this point, waiting all day to hang out with you. Well, Craig leans in and kisses my forehead. Walk it off, champ. Imagine dick points. Are the lights on this softball field really hot, or is that just me? I get up and dust myself off. Hmm. River yawns. Hey, little buddy, you must be getting tired, huh? Mm -hmm. I hate to say it, but I should probably head out. Sorry, things are so... You get older and life just kind of gets in the way, huh? I start walking back to the parking lot. Remember that one house party that we got into that was broken up by a helicopter? Nice. How could I forget? You and me hopped over a concrete wall to get away. The other side of the fence was a parking lot where a bunch of cops were parked. Oh. Oh man, yeah. Could you imagine looking at our faces? We just walked straight past them like we were out for a stroll. And not knowing that we were at the party, they started joking with us about how big of a bust it was. We had to talk with them for like 35 minutes. She told them you were interested in joining hey. the academy. And they started giving me pointers for the exam. Longest 30 minutes of my life. Man. College. Oh. Good old days, right? We get back to our cars. Craig pulls me in for a hug or at least... As much as we can manage mm. with a baby between us. Never enough time, huh? Guess mm. not. Let me make it up to you. Let's hang out soon, yeah? I'd like that. I yawn as I walk through the door, spotting Amanda hunched over her collage, glue stick in hand, burning the midnight oil. <laughs> Figured I might do something productive between episodes of Shark Hunter lip sync battles. Oh, God. Do the sharks lip sync or do the shark hunters lip sync? Huh. Yes. I look over her shoulder at the collage. Amanda, this is some good art. Look at this good art you made. Thanks, I'm just about done. Like before, it's still a lot of dogs. In one corner is a giant pile of cash, and the other it's... Amanda, is that me? Yep, the whole thing is about my goals for the future, and those are basically just sit on a giant pile of money with my 20 dogs, and also have a strong, mutual, supportive relationship with my father into adulthood. Oh, now you've done it. You ready to watch your dad cry? Here it comes. It's happening. Ah. Oh, Dad. You did this with your good art. She passed mm. me on the back. Hey, how was your hang with Craig? I looked here for my aunt. It was good. That Craig guy sure is busy. Huh? Yeah, dude, the softball life isn't for quitters. Also, I'm very proud of you for facing your fears today. How does it feel? I'm on top of the world, Pops. I should start facing my fears more often. Yeah? How about tomorrow? We hit some empty parking lots in practice. Dare I say... Parallel parking? Oh. Baby steps, Dad. I'll work my way up to it. Alright. I'm gonna hit the hay. Take care of the late night television for me, alright? I'll let them know you said hey. Alright. Whoa. Thirsty points! Hey, but we got that S. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, we will I'm gonna stop here for the stream. We have completed our first date. We have made much progress. Hopefully the two people that watched this enjoyed. What? I don't know. I didn't look. Anyways. I'm off to go do productive things, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. 
thought about doing something, but I can't remember now. But, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll probably stream this, like, next week ish, yeah. Maybe. That's all when I work. You have my schedule. But, yeah. Later, guys. It's been fun. We're not going for the dick that I thought we were going to go for, but fuck it. We'll go for the other dick. It's fine. It works. Bye. Right. Later.